Good evening, everyone. Welcome to WBG Xbox Podcast, episode 214. I hope everybody's doing well today because I'm feeling pretty good. Sean is here, guys. Joey is here, but guess who isn't here? Two POSs. You know, I'm about to go ahead and um have both of those guys do me a huge favor. I you know I don't know what to say anymore. They're never here. I am taking resumes for two new panel members on WBG. Resume that for six months. I have been saying that, but I'm for real this time. Damn it! <laughs> Every week they ain't here. I be miss it. Then Devin miss it. Then both of them miss it. Ain't no April Fool's Day. I'm serious. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. We got a few things to talk about. Uh, coming when it comes to this gaming industry, a few things that's on our minds. You know, first thing I just saw right before the show. That's going to be our first topic. I don't know if you guys saw it. I hope you didn't, so we can just get you guys fresh thoughts about it. Apparently, Metacritic scores doesn't matter, and they're BS. Mm. That's what wait, I wait, just wait. saw. Where did you see that? Oh, I'll I'll show you, you guys in a few. Yeah, show me. Apparently, Metacritic scores only count when PlayStation games get amazing scores, but when PlayStation games don't get amazing scores. Then Metacritic is full of you know what. And Joy, I meant to tell you, I got a um limited monetization last week because you want to keep on saying uh words that no I yeah, you know, yeah, I'll well, tell you. Later. you I'll, I'll get them every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I try not, I try not to get those. Uh well, anyway. <clears throat> you'll tell me the word and I'll uh restrain myself. Well, I can't say it right now. Oh, just the initial, the the the, 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 at least the initial. You well, you said some sexual stuff last week. Well, anyway, I guys, did? yes, guys, thank okay. you so much for joining us. Um, Sean, what's going on with you, my man? I've been good, bro. Man, I hope you guys have been well. Uh, shout out to the people in the chat as well. I know it's one of them days where it's April the it's the first, and people are putting out some articles or weird tweets. It's crazy. You don't you never know who to believe in that. But listen, we got some good stuff to talk about. Like you said. I didn't see the news about the Metacritic, so listen, it's been a busy day. Let's talk that shit. Yeah, man, some stuff about the Metacritic we're going to talk about first. But also, you know, as you guys see the thumbnail, there's been a lot of anti-Phil Spencer um, articles, comments, tweets from the Pony Bots, from the X, uh, Xbox guys, from the media. And I'm like, yo, man, you know, that's why I put in there. I know I'm not, you know, like, like you know, like people said, Dirt, wait, no, you put in there, he's not perfect. He's not perfect. Nobody's perfect. But to, to say this guy is killing Xbox is absolutely ridiculous. And we're going to talk about that too, because that's something that irks me. Um, it almost seems like people are followers. If one person starts to hate on it, it's like the more popular thing to do, then all of a sudden everybody follow suits then you know it all comes from them putting games on other platforms but we'll get we'll get to that shortly um look who decided to show up Mm-mm-mm. it's good good look, look who good. decided to show up uh anyway uh joy what's up with you man nothing man uh i'm just trying to stay away a little bit from social media it's getting yeah. dumber than before <laughs> for some oh, reason my God. It's and like t- it's there's nothing you no point in arguing doing council war anymore in that thing. It's like really like uh but it all I've other than that, it's all good, man. I'm good. It's summer, the breeze is hitting, it's nice and warm. Awesome. Yeah, bro. And I get I get so annoyed with these damn April Fool's jokes, man. It's annoying. This year they ain't funny. Like this year they ain't, ain't like, funny. Not even good. There's nothing funny, there's nothing like nothing. oh shit, I got caught. Nothing. It's like it's yeah, terrible. Yeah, it's April Fools. They're all terrible. <laughs> Guys, post all my right. on my Xbox. You know what? I don't got time for it, bro. As much as the uh, as much as Xbox hate we've gotten lately, the Xbox negativity. I don't want to see that shit. We've seen real posts like that. I'm talking about mm-hmm. which yeah. you know that's their business, but still, <laughs> man, come on, Devin, man, what's up with you, dog? Not much. Not much. Another Monday, dirt. Ready to talk that shit. Another Monday. Another Monday. All right. Before we get started. Yeah. Let me get these super chats. Lower Star Killer member for 30 months. Ponies mm. and flip floppers don't get it. Without Phil, Satya, their teams, and Microsoft's acquisitions, Xbox would have been gone long ago. 100% Lower Star Killer. We're going to get into it, man. I'm just so annoyed by these people, man. 
so annoyed by him. Uh, Adidas 20 zero to 10. Peace and love. Peace and love. Shit. Damn, man. <laughs> Bitches. I talk that shit, bro. Appreciate you. Lord Star Killer with the five. Five Dirk Riggity membership. Shout out to you, my man. Five, baby. Five times. Appreciate that. Adidas 20 zero to 10. I'm not a religious man, but if I did notice, Pony Media, ponies and pony bots do their best to keep the book of Ryan closed. Those are effed up scriptures. Oh, damn. He's, he's quoting the Bible, y'all. Lonely the Black Mama, the two. They hate Phil because he made Xbox a great. Yeah, Black Mama. I'm, you know, we all have some thoughts about this stuff, but it's, it's, it's really weird to me, man. Not really, but it's kind of crazy. Their, their logic. The logic of it is, is crazy to me. Not like being unhappy about some things that he's has done, that's one thing. But for the stuff that people are saying, bring back Don Matrick, do this, do that. He needs to be fired. That's crazy, bro. Photo Bro, remember for 18 months? I have been saying this that Microsoft has been playing chess all along. Yep. Yeah, but you know, but <laughs> nobody wants to talk about the other platforms' issues, but you know, apparently Xbox is dead. Justin Boudreau with the fire rise of Roni is fire. <laughs> uh, April Fools, I wouldn't buy that trash at a deep discount. We even play it if it was on. Game. It's already discounted, bro. I saw it, it at what like thirty five bucks, some shit like that. Holy <laughs> oh, homie yeah. Joaquin, yeah. Joaquin Branch with the five. Pay no mind to Tim Dog. He won ham sounds away from high fiving his ancestors. Oh come on, man. Oh my. God. After he <laughs> talks, he out of breath. He don't listen to his own body needs. I come uh, on, Joaquin Branch. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. That was a good uh, one. <laughs> Yo, Paul Morrow. Like Paul Morrow with the two Canadian. Those pony idiots are just jealous. I hate them. Yeah, man, I'm tired of them. <laughs> Yo, what's going to be We crazy, need though? kills. Thank so you for becoming you, a YouTube boy. member. That that name is a little sus. I, I hope you're talking about FPS games. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, thank you, bro. Yeah, man, the pony's out here, man. So... I don't know if y'all saw my man say he was like my man was about to do a video about me. Mm. He said, Who? Me said, nigga, I am oh doing a, <laughs> I am doing a series on these bots, and the first one is dirt griggity, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> man, this video got blocked by Sony because I don't know music or something. I don't know what he did. Ain't that crazy? They watch our content and no, none of us watch theirs. Like, that's how trash it is. I don't watch that shit, man. <laughs> you know, well, look, the thing is, I have so much stuff on him. He has no idea, bro. So many receipts. So, we know I ain't even gonna worry about it. Whatever. Um. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get this show started. Uh, What's the time? Like I said, uh, this this topic we're about to talk about now. Is something I saw right before the show. <laughs> uh, man, let me let me share this. Hello, go to my bookmarks, huh? Joey, As you should play, boy. Devin, <laughs> I mean, the gaming community, our community, our community right now is weird, man. A lot of craziness is going on. You know, the the people that we thought would never flip is flipping. We got some controversial stuff going on. With subs right now, I'm not gonna even talk about. It. I'm not gonna talk about it. <laughs> you said you were gonna mention. I'm not gonna talk about it, man. It's, it's a lot of controversy. Going on. I'm cool. With, I'm I'm cool with the people, but it's a lot of controversy going on. Uh, there's so much craziness, you know, crap going back and forth, flipping back and forth, back and forth. Hey, like, what the hell is going on, man? You know what I'm saying? A lot of confusion. In the streets, a lot of confusion is going on in this industry. <laughs> A now it's now management is going yeah mismanagement you know layoffs studios being closed ah oh, man like what's what's going on man all these rumors ps5 oh, shit, pro dev saying we don't want no damn ps5 pro like xbox rumor handheld so much is going on man oh yeah i saw mm. that uh, Dale. other youtubers accusing bigger youtubers and not just the one i'm talking about but other ones you know i saw a brap accusing the guy of buying stuff so like, what the hell is going on damn what is going on <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. bro it's like it's entertaining i'm not gonna lie it's entertaining but there's a lot of stuff going on but with that being said i just saw this right before the show let me share my screen you know metacritic is something that I would say most of us, 
at least 90% of us never paid attention to in the 360 era. Metacritic started to become a thing in the Xbox One PS4 era. It took it, it precisely took 2016. I'll, 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 let me push back on that for a second. Uh, okay. What you mean by that is, and I'm sure the homies in the chat and the guys on the panel will uh, agree with me. The Metacritic has always been there, but the problem it's is always the been way, there, right? The problem is the way they make the, a game look like a 75, 78 is a dog shit game. That's what yeah. happened in the Xbox One generation. Mm-hmm. A game below an 85 is dog shit. And that's yeah. what happened. When games used to get like 74, 75s, that, that was considered a good game. Mm-hmm. Now, it's, they started it's weaponizing it. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah. They started yeah, weaponizing it. Joey, is that they started weaponizing it. They started using it for the console war because when they started it, PlayStation games were getting higher Metacritic scores than Xbox games. So they started to use that for ammunition. And here we are, right? Um, Hunter posted a couple hours ago, Japanese gamers are criticizing Western reviews of Rise of Ronin and questioning its 76% Metacritic average. The Metacritic, <laughs> the meta, I'm sorry, the meta score is not to be trusted. Anything under 80 for, for this level of game is absurd. One comment, uh, one user commented. This has made me painfully aware of how unreliable Metacritic scores are, says another. <laughs> Even when I subtract points for the complaints I have, I still give the game around a 90, says another <laughs> Japanese player. Rise of the Ronin has been critically praised in Japan with Famitsu giving it a 37 out of 40. Uh, um, I have a question. Yes. Is the guy writing that, is his name, uh, Japan hates Xbox for some reason? Uh, That's how it sounds like. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Listen, man, we understand that Metacritic scores, um, Metacritic scores are people's opinions compiled into one average score, right? That's all it is. We a use it, score, but yes, yes, we use it for console war banter. Like I mentioned, PlayStation guys used it. That's why Metacritic is such a big thing now. Because yes, we never really cared about it. Sean, like Sean said, it was always there. The only people that would talk about it is if uh, if a game got a good review score, and the company would probably showcase it. Look at our accolades. You know, <clears throat> it's a good score. Here's a score. Here's a Metacritic score. So now all of a sudden. Western, yeah, I said Western, Western. Uh, so now <laughs> that this game, this PlayStation exclusive that they love so much, it's under an 80, they're flipping out. They're saying Metis Critic scores can't be trusted. Why is it? Why yeah. can't it be trusted now? If y'all trusted it with Starfield, it was an 83. Y'all said that was trash, by the way, right? 83 mm. is trash. Right, so this game, Rise of Ronin, is 76 Metacritic. It's the Western. It's the Western uh, 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 scores, review scores. This game is great. How dare this game get under 80? I mean, what happened with Days Gone, Dirt? 71. Didn't Ring Fit outscore that game? <laughs> Ring Fit, bro? <laughs> Ring Fit. Isn't that the Switch game? Isn't that the Switch game? Oh, yeah, man. yeah, oh, it is. God, <laughs> he didn't. I think you're right about that. Damn, I remember that shit. We were laughing at it. Oh man, you know what's crazy about hey, this? I uh, remember it. Ring- <laughs> That's funny. Do you remember said. that shit? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's crazy about this? It's understandable right now because there's certain games that people love. It could be a 65 rated game. It could be a 75 rated game. The problem is, is keeping that same energy. And one of the biggest key problem is with like Hunter and these other people are talking about. Rise of the Running could be a good game, no doubt. A 76 is not a bad score, but because we're in the console war, we're going to talk shit because the, opposi- the opposition has been doing that shit for a minute. So we're going to do it no matter what. The problem is because it's a first party game, or whatever it is, exclusive, if you want to call it a time, first party, whatever it is going to be, that's what they want. That's what they're worried about because every PlayStation game that's come out recently in this year hasn't been hitting it. It's been 70, 76 high 70s max but they know to get 80s 80 plus and that regardless of, uh regardless if uh Fimitsu is giving it like a 9 out of 10 or something it is what it is everybody uh, every uh, every reviewer is totally different 
So they're going to get different scores. But I feel like the problem is right now is because it's PlayStation. And they love these games. If you like games like Ghost of Tsushima, everybody expects that game to... The way they give Ghost of Tsushima, we've we know, we know, we known this for a minute. The way they talk about Ghost of Tsushima is like a 95 rated game. Mm -hmm. When in fact it's an 82 rated game. And a Rise of the Running could be a good game, dope game. Regardless of the graphics and that, if it's dog shit, it looks like a, a PlayStation 2 game. A 76 is still a good score because we're in the console war. Everybody gets into the feelings. It is what it is. And that's mm. what happens. So every time a PlayStation game comes out, prime example, a Stellar Blade comes out and it gets a high 70, what are they going to say? Don't look at Metacritic anymore. <laughs> why? Because it benefits them. That's why. We, that's why we like to call these punk ass bitches out. Is because whenever, whenever it happens to a PlayStation game or their favorite platform, don't look at Metacritic. Why? Why are you guys so focused on Metacritic? But as soon as Starfield came out, Motorsport, what happened? They went after them games. Cause why? It's on the opposite side. So do you know what? We're gonna talk that shit. Whenever PlayStation gets into the seventies, we're talking that shit, no doubt. Cause. Every PlayStation do that there. Ponies, last gen. You claim that every PlayStation game is going to be 85 and above. Yep. So anybody no. can get it. Anybody can get it. Let me get these supers. Micah Fresh with the five. I heard a rumor that that a dirt was getting a, a push. <laughs> how else could could he, how else could he have such a thriving channel and community? Hashtag TTS. Hashtag Black Lavender. Has that English toffee? Yeah, man. It's in, uh, yeah, oh Dirk Riggity. Uh, he's getting a push. I'm not sure why Microsoft is pushing him, but they're pushing. <laughs> that was the craziest thing ever last year, bro. On his game, you remember for 11 months? Crap needs to seek help. Dude harassing Sarah on all his tweets. I bet Tim Dog drool all over his pillow every night and snoring and sounding like a dog toy. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, Oh shit! Yeah, bro, them guys oh, crazy, man. man. They crazy. Jay, remember, shit. remember for three months, embrace the pony bot movement, darkness. Happy April Fool's Day, but yeah, man. Bots. Shout out to Jay, remember out there, Shout TTSing. Out to you, Jay, Time maker, man, with the two dirt. You have to settle down, your boy. Crap, <laughs> I, I muted them, bro. I I unfollowed them too. I'm like, right, come on, man. Piece of shit. Um. Anyway, <clears throat> um, Joey. So, what's your thoughts about this, man? Uh, Metacritic score. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know for sure, but I thought like Japan or Asian countries had like their own Metacritic thing, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, I don't know if that's true. I'm not sure. I think they had one, or and it's the most I can think of. I, I guess, but. If that's the case, then why well, care what the Westerners think about the game, right? Yeah. Because yeah, Famicom gave it a 37 out of 40. It, whatever that means, right? I don't yeah. know. But at the same like time, nine, it's like, I, guess. Yeah. I guess. But at the same time, it's like, dude, there's games that hit in certain regions that other regions don't hit. It, it, that's it. That is what it is. And at the end of the day, dude, I remember before I, I, I this whole thing about Metacritic and scores and things like that. I started seeing this like pop up after 2016 when Sony started getting these bangers and goaties and things like you know how they talk. I don't know how these ponies started talking like the goaties, contenders, bangers, and all those words. And it was like before that, I remember jumping into uh, this website. I don't know if you guys remember. I, I never liked IGN. It was always like game trailers or Destructoid or it was even Screw Attack. I was jumping to those websites and I just watched their reviews and I saw a seven, seven point eight. <clears throat> Or even a, a, a plain seven, and then it was still rated as a good game. And I remember even buying some of those mm. games. Like, hey, seven is a good game. It's not. It's not going to blow my mind, but it's still entertaining. And so, you're going to still be entertained by it and have a good time. And I still believe that. Like, there's still seven games out there that I still, still play and still like, and I see nothing wrong with it. But unfortunately, because we are we are in the business of console warring. Uh, you know, seven is weaponized, six is weaponized, and and ponies weaponize it out of more than anybody. So now they're getting scores like that. They don't like it, and now they want to discount it. Like it's not fair, mm. or, or there's some kind of media bias. When in reality, maybe Rise of Ronin is just a regular good game, nothing more than that. Now, not everything that Sony has his hands on, or, or it's behind, or publishing is necessarily going to be a banger. 
Oh, we that's, know that. I mean, what that, was that game that dropped on Game Pass that they uh, which one? they helped with which one? the funding? Uh, Dirt always talks about it. Callisto Protocol is that on Game Pass? That no, game, that game is no. ass. That's not on Game Pass. I thought it was on Game Pass, wasn't it? No, no. Should, maybe it no? should be. No, it wasn't. Maybe it no, should be. Was a, it should have been. That was a PlayStation marketing game. Hmm. Ain't going on Game Pass no time soon. Whatever it is, but oh, but I, yeah. I, it, it's like. Whoever wrote this, whoever was angry about the score, yo, yo, get a life, man. If you like the game, who gives a shit at the end? For real, <laughs> right? But but mm-hmm. Rise of Ronin, honestly, I've seen it. I saw some gameplay about it. I saw how it looks. I'm like, even Wukong, Wuhan, whatever mm-hmm. the name is that we had the game on Game Pass, that one is actually looked better, played better than that one. And there's actual concerns and bad things about Ronin. And that's it. Dude, not everything has to be a great game. Like it, it, it's more, it's not perfect. You know what I mean? Like it can yeah, be, it can be, it can be a decent game and not be like yeah. god tier. You know? Yeah, exactly. So it is what it is. Whoever wrote that is just salty. It's just a <laughs> sad, salty piece of shit. That's it. Like if y'all like missing, it. y'all missing one point. The what whole the point, point of this because, conversation. It's because, not about Rise of Ronin. It's about what? the Metacritic score. How they say <laughs> Metacritic scores doesn't. Uh, well, that's Matt. well. That's the other thing. That's the other thing. I mean, now, I was, yeah. they wanted, look at a game like now they, dis- now they want to disprove Metacritic. Yeah, that's that's just ridiculous. That's the thing. point, y'all. Of y'all, I miss it. Damn, Rise of Ronin. I don't give a shit about that punk ass game. The point <laughs> I'm talking about is that the Metacritic scores cannot be trusted. <laughs> Metacritic <laughs> scores are unreliable. Uh, that's anything, what I'm talking. If about. anything, that score is too high in my opinion. And you know, Jesus. you look at a game like Rise Son of Rome. That game ain't a six. That 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 game ain't a six. That just shows you that Metacritic can't be trusted. That game was 60, bro. Rise of Rome had a 60. I said, I was playing this game like, what? what? I'm not going to say it's a 90, but a 60? Come on, man. That game is a solid 80, mid-80. Yeah. Like, when that game came out, people people bought the new console because of that game. That's how good it looked. Still looks good. Do you think one of the issues is because for what I just got here, but what it sounds like is you got to talk about rising over Metacritic scores and the, the bad, the uh, the a bad. couple of ponies well, in Japan said Metacritic scores are not reliable, they're BS. allegedly, though. allegedly, mm. like they're coming, yeah, allegedly. yeah. But at well, the same time, it's like, yeah, go ahead, it's the same thing, you know, ponies' relationship with Metacritic and um, what's the guys on YouTube that review the graphics of a game and compare it? Visible you know, what I'm talking about, yes. You, you and I both know ponies have a love hate relationship with Digital Foundry and Metacritic. If it goes good, they love them. Goes bad, they hate them, can't stand them. It's like a revolving door. We like we've seen this before. Personally, I thought the game looked okay for what they show, but you know how it is with showing. They show the game off, looks one way, but you actually hands on looks different. Uh, people are saying the games look like a PS4 game. The graphics don't look that good. No, not they said PS3 that. game. Oh, not yeah. that, not. For real, uh, if you play Ninja Gaiden 2 on the 360, it looks better than that. Honestly, oh, I'm not shit. even joking. Yeah. Well, but that well, doesn't make it a bad game. Graphics does not make a bad game. But hold on, Joey. But we know this. Ponies, the yeah. very few pillars ponies like to lean on is Metacritic scores, sales, and how the game's visuals look. If, that, if they can't rely on one, they don't know what to do. So if this game doesn't look up to snuff, because uh, this game was made by um, Tecmo, right? Yeah, yeah, so Koi 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 Koi. and all that. So maybe I looking at this game, like the gameplay is decent, but maybe for all we know, it was something they had from a previous generation and never did nothing with it. And so they said, We'll take it, and they said, Fine. But visuals, it, it just doesn't look you know top tier. It doesn't look like Ghost of Shima or you know, any of other uh better looking games. And they so they said, Fine, we'll take it because their 2004 lineup is dry, so they, they take what they can get, but. If ponies can't rely on, if they can't rely on sales, if they can't rely on visuals, and clearly they can't rely on Metacritic scores, they don't know what to do. So this is clearly another dud dead in the water. I'm pretty sure people enjoy it, but it's just another. Uh, I won't say coffin nail. It's just another game that flopped for them. And can't another third party exclusive that flopped for them. Correct. They're 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 full of them over there. They had tons of them. This year, this year has been what two already? This one and and Foam Stars. Yep. Hell, well, you know, and people saying Final Fantasy VII Rebirth <laughs> because we still haven't got any numbers, but I think oh, that no, one there's no game play about it. I, I haven't even heard anybody talk about this game is going to be game of the year with, when it comes to Final Fantasy Rebirth. Yeah, yeah. We heard that two days after uh, Dragon's Dogma, everybody like game of the year. I haven't heard a word from Final Fantasy. 
Yeah, <laughs> makes so. it big because it's right. mid. Joaquin Branch with the two dirt. Can you give me Jim Ryan's last words from today? <laughs> oh my God. I don't know, man. He probably like a. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. What do you say, y'all? I have last word from today. Or last yeah, day. You know, it was his last day today, or, or I think, yeah. No, like, it was like, yesterday, yesterday, Sunday. Yesterday's Sunday. his last day. So now Hiroki yeah. Totoki is the, the boss. Room. He's the boss right now. He going <laughs> to tell you some shit about it. Come on. He's going to be like, yo, we got to cancel this. We got to cancel that. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what he said. He said, we blow, I'm, I'm blowing you fucking out here. <laughs> Uh, Shiv Sharon with the 200 rupees. That horse riding animation makes it look like the horse had a bad case of hemorrhoids. With those oh dog God. shit animations, that game deserve even lower scores. Ponies can kiss our ass. I hate them all. Oh, shit, man. Can, can, dog, uh, can horses get hemorrhoids? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> they drop lows, maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe oh, they constipated, huh? Robert Jr. with the fire. What up, gang? Give Xbox the crown. Just turned 32. About to go crazy. God bless. Happy birthday, brother. You young Happy punk. Happy birthday, man. You young Robert punk. J, take it easy, playboy. Be safe out there. All right. Silent Cypher with the Happy two birthday. PS5 games doing bad. Now ponies believe in the taxi. That's the that's what this topic is about. The, uh, the, the homies on the panel is making it about Rise of Ronin itself. I'm talking about the hypocrisy. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the... You know what I'm talking about, Joy. I'm no, no, I know what you're talking now. about, but they they can't complain about tax when Sony has rebates and 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 cashback. Like, That's my point, you Joy. You can't you can't do that. Xbox has a tax when it That's doesn't go exactly <laughs> their way. This is what happens. They say this is not fair. No, no, no. This game is over edge. This game, y'all. You know what? I can't believe Metacritic is unreliable. They're BS. They're PO. bro. That's what the point I'm saying. You know so. It is what it is. Uh, time maker man with the five. Nice to see WBG again. We got Dirty Greedy, Shana per- Persia, Grandi Size Menudo, oh LeBron gosh, James, Alvin. and Dev the Coco Kid all day. What the hell, man? Show some damn respect, man. Show some damn it. respect. So, anyway, y'all, that's about it. Fuzzy in the chat. Uh, oh, fuzzy. man. That's about it, y'all. <laughs> oh, well, well, you actually think. Chat. Do you think ponies are gonna run with their version of X, uh, PlayStation tax now? Please don't do. Like, Bro, you guys they, really they're gonna do, do that? You remember when they tried that before? Saying, I remember uh, a a pony movie. saying, recently, if this was though. Xbox, they'd gave it a good score. I'm like, what? Y'all got the audacity <laughs> to act like it's PlayStation tax? <laughs> Stop it, Jigga J with the two pony Richard Simmons clip, please. Oh snap! Oh, that's yeah, awesome. that was a long time. Let me find it, man. Let me find the homie J Rocket here. What up, though? It's a classic right there, it's a Classic. Huh? I love it. Yeah, that that, that man, took us back to 2021 for that one. 2021, baby. Yeah. <laughs> COVID times. Oh, that's that's crazy, bro. Down. Crazy. Um, so all right, man. Uh, thank you guys. Next uh topic. Hold on, let me get uh we have 600 people in here, y'all. Say what's up to everybody. Salute, player, people, boy. people like still it. rocking out with us, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys. Let me pull up the uh, the next article while we where we, you know while I'm right here. Uh, where I'm is asking, it? Well, how does R&B still have a job? What hmm? what, what are you referring to, uh, Carl Reeb? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Why wow, R&B still got a job?" Oh Damn. man, Come on, man. Damn. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Bless you. Man. Uh, listen, I, I would tell you guys you this. <laughs> All right, let's move on, y'all. Um, because I'm a certified OG, sucker. You sucker. <laughs> so, hey, listen. Uh, apparently, Xbox games so far that's on PS5 have flopped badly. Oh, oh yeah. Um, I was I was listening to Jazz and uh, Ran the Xbox Two, and Jazz was saying, "Yo, man, Pentiment wasn't even in the top 200." Mm. Get out of here. Damn. That's what he said. You joking? 
I don't know if you guys. Um, I'm surprised. I'm surprised about how Fire Rush Pentiment? too, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Who, who, who's who's, who's surprised about how Pentiment did? That, that, that was a game of hey. the show. Listen. Who cares? Pentiment. Nobody wants Pentiment, bro. <laughs> Even us bots didn't play that shit. Stop it. I know Damn. some of you guys in the chat might have liked shook. it, but Sean, I, I hear sick. the sar- I hear the sarcasm. I Sean. feel sick. Yeah, so Pentiment wasn't even even in the top two hundred. <laughs> and High Fire Rush didn't do well either, bro. Really? Nobody bought it. That's that's surprising. That's Listen, surprising. It was, let's it, be honest. It, it barely touched up one hundreds. Also, like yeah. It's, yeah. it's it came out of a long it's time unfortunate. Ago. Let's let's be honest. Put I'm going to go back. Side. I'm going to go back. Oh yeah. I really feel that shadow dropping strategy. It hurt wasn't a good game. idea. It hurt this game. This is a game they should have showed off and advertised a little bit. Because I knew when I was playing the game, every achievement was a rare achievement. I was like, damn, bro. And I didn't well, beat the game well, immediately. When did you play it, though? It was like uh, maybe a few first, weeks after first, it came oh, out. I didn't beat it immediately. Well, you played it in the first well, week. It's, it's, in the first week, you're still going to get rare achievements, though, because everybody yeah. was just realizing the game existed. Come on, there. If you Yo. do that now and everything is still diamonds, yeah, like, but yeah, but still other games, I didn't have that happen with other games though. With other <laughs> games, you see achievements, it's not rare achievements, it's achievements. Like this game had everyone was rare. And this I listen, I was playing the game, but throughout the week, it was like all of them were still rare. I was like, damn, this is, this is a week later. All the so we kind of knew a lot of people. Abdul said, uh, <laughs> I disagree. Their shadow drop helped help High Fire Rush. No, it didn't, bro. It didn't do well on Xbox as well as PlayStation. But the topic is the shit flopped on PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> That's the topic. Now, how would see if these do? See if these will probably do better. Oh, um, grounded. Yeah. No, but High Fire Rush was an amazing game, bro. Amazing game. But so far... Would, I'm sorry. Do you think it would have done better if it, they um, shadow dropped it during... Well, it's not E3 anymore, but E3 season, like after the show, hey, here's something to play after all this other stuff you looked at versus the start of the year. I mean, it's possible, but I just oh, think wow. that Hi-Fi yeah. Rush or the shadow dropping in today's climate, I don't think that's a good I, idea. I, I we, don't think I don't, I don't even it. think that's a I don't even think that's the problem. I think because I've seen people comment on the game, people that hasn't played it. And because they don't know what the game is about, they think it's really, really a rhythm game. And if mm. you're not in mm-hmm. rhythm, you're screwed. Well, that's not the case. Whoever hasn't played High Fire Rush, you can be out of rhythm. But the game is so good with the rhythm and the music that you out mm. of rhythm makes the game in rhythm. That's how crazy that game is. Being in rhythm makes you get better points. But you yeah. don't have, you could you could be a dog shit dancer and don't know how to dance, and you could play this game. That's how mm-hmm. easy it is. But I think I people are that. a little bit afraid of it. They really because Metal Hell Singer came out. If you're not in rhythm in that game, you barely can shoot. Yeah, I put that shit down. So um, maybe there's a little but but I, I kind of it's it's a little bit sad to me because I really love Hyper Rush. Like it, that's my it, but Joy, Joy, let's be honest. At the time, at the time when we were hearing about a smaller game coming out, we were like, what the fuck is this? Another Pentiment leading yeah. up to it. You, you remember this? <laughs> we thought it would well, be another but, Pentiment. Bro. No, I heard yeah. we heard, yeah, yes, true. We heard about it was going to be a smaller game like Jet Set Radio. But when he said Jet Set Radio, that, yeah. that made it different. That made it different. That, I was like, <laughs> all right, all right. I like the, the Jet Set Radio thing because I really liked like, Jet Set Radio when it came out. And then when we saw when the game came out, we also, dude, we even had. What's the dumbass that uh, the guy that uh, the pony that just making their jiggity to have a push? That guy he even <laughs> said that, that 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 the game looked like a PlayStation game and that the Xbox uh, didn't deserve it. So, yeah, like Hyper Rush looks, looks pretty good. Xbox doesn't deserve this. Well, y'all yeah. had it and y'all ain't buy it, y'all ain't play it. Pieces of trash. So, shame on all of you. I didn't play Hi Fi Rush, it's still a fantastic game. It's a great it's a, game. It's still a great shout game. out to the but two million people... bots plus that played it. And shout out to the two plus players on the PlayStation play it. <laughs> the <two> play- <laughs> they think- don't buy games, man. But that's, listen, that's for one. Do you they think they don't um, buy games, bro? Um think- so Abdel said, remember what when, when Half Fi Rush I sold for spoken on Steam by revenue? Oh damn. Well, that's, actually, was mm-hmm. that's actually that's yeah. happened. That is true. Dunk for dunk spoken dunk was dunk a piece dunk of shit. Dunk. Tell the story. Dut. <laughs> that game looks like shit. Dut. Oh man. Um, so look, man, it's not gonna be a long topic. It's it's just that 
No, uh, before we move on, I said this uh, when we uh, heard that the games were going like when they announced the four games that was gonna go to the PlayStation platform, I said it straight up. I want the, I want them to flop. Yeah, you I, want, say that. I want I want people like Sarty and Della, Amy Hood to consider like do you know what these single player games do you know what it it doesn't always work. Having games on multi platform does not always work. Prime example, yep. Titanfall Two was one of them games. You remember mm-hmm. that shit? Yep. It doesn't always work. When something's, when something's exclusive, it, now nine times, about eight times out of ten, it can work for them. But I would say this: uh, maybe the service games, could, like Sea of Thieves, is it's a different type of game, bro. Mm-hmm. Man, man. Mm-hmm. Dude, but not every game is gonna work. I'm gonna tell you something about Sea of Thieves, ponies. Sea of Thieves is a type of game that doesn't hold your hand. It just puts yeah. you in the middle of this. And it tells you, go ahead, have your adventure. I can tell you right now, ponies don't like that shit. If it doesn't have a cutscene, if it's not about to say that, Joey. And if they have QT, they're gonna be. This game is gonna be bad. Is it, well, you know, the, ponies don't play multiplayer. Play, ponies don't play the multiplayer. Play. Ponies, the casuals will play. Yeah, not the ponies, the right? The casuals. Joey, I nigga, so. why I don't have a bow and arrow, nigga? <laughs> there's no cutscene, nigga. This is some bullshit. This is an Xbox game, nigga. Nobody likes these games. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, right, to, right. I I agree with you, Sean. And what I have to say is, when we don't, we'll, we maybe never know the agreement they came to with being you know, forced or coerced to put games on PlayStation that they didn't want to because he saw you know attention and all that when they um, finally admitted it. Um. Who's to say Phil Spencer and them kind of bunted it and said, all right, we'll pick the two smallest games we got and use that excuse when they flop, and they did, say, see, this doesn't work. And I'm, pretty sure, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming the happy medium is single-player games make no sense to share, but multiplayer games like Sea of Thieves and Grounded, that could be what we can, we can have a concession on, and that'd be it. So single-player games, if you see it don't work. Did Grounded look. come out? The Grounded not, come out? Not yet, not yet, not yet. And is it only on a Nintendo or is it also on, a, on PlayStation? It's on PlayStation, too. It's on PlayStation. I don't know if it's only on PlayStation. Yep, so but let me get some ass. Um, oh, Jay, remember with the two 500 people, let's get 500 likes in here. Hey, Jay, you're 670. Let's get 670 <laughs> likes. You did? Yeah, but that is that is my hope that, all right, no single player, just these multiplayer games like Grounded Sea of Thieves and maybe some things in the future. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Um, time maker man with the five ponies are using Metacritic scores as a weapon, just like uh people using Rotten Tomato scores on movies. Mm-hmm. Thing is, ponies bitch when it's okay, ponies bitch when it's used on them. F them facts, bro. <clears throat> Talk that shit. all the time, man. Told you they just think PlayStation, everything they do is perfect. So lonely the black mom the two. Y'all know what that means. No more pop ass biscuits. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> pop ass. Biscuits, Alvin with the two high fire rush, uh, PS5 same week as Rise and Dragons. That's why. Nah, yeah, man, we ain't gonna. Nah, I mean, we're gonna say they don't buy games, bro. It's come out of bad time, but we we'll, we'll say they don't buy games anyway. Let's just say they don't buy games. <laughs> uh, blank nine sixty four to two. I'm playing boat gun, and every achievement is rare. What the hell Yo, is I'm gun? I'm playing that right now, and I haven't even got an achievement. I'm like, what the fuck is going on with this game? No, so maybe the team is hard to get. Yeah, I, I hate to win some games. Yeah, right. Pull out like 50 yeah. hours and you only got 100 achievements. <laughs> bro, I hate right? games like that. Yeah. Bro, that's that Nooney Cooney bullshit. Bro, pull out like 50, 50 hours and that's it. 120 yeah. achievements. Oh, my God. Texas, member for 17 months. I'm sorry, but are we talking about flopping sales-wise? Y'all know ponies barely buy their own games. <laughs> the ports were doomed from the start. It's a great point, man. <laughs> great you point, know what? More than likely, the casuals will pick up grounded and see if these, and I'll probably give it life. But the yeah. hardcore, they'll. I don't know what narrative they're going to run with. Are they going to be happy that it makes money on PlayStation, which means that PlayStation people are paying more for it, or are they going to just dog it out and say, "What? I don't get it." Like, what? Where are they going to rock with this thing? Yeah. Call weed with the five. I, I remember Xbox Uni was arguing for them to shadow drop Starfield. Jay Barry <laughs> cooked him in the in his own Twitter space over that nonsense. Yeah, shadow drops, especially like you need to to market a game a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Give especially it, if it's first it part. Like four to six weeks at, at least. Man. Yeah, at least market a little bit. Adidas 20 zero with the two. Only GTA, NBA, COD, and FIFA will sell on PlayStation. <laughs> that's that that's what they buy. 
That's what they buy. Um, I pity PlayStation presence with the true, not true. Dut. Aaron confirmed Hi Fi was successful. Dut. Mm. He did say that. Define success. I, I, yeah, that's other thing. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, listen, I'm sure the game did fine, but you know. New York Giant Man with the fire. What up, WBG? Our game's flopping is a positive. <laughs> no success means we don't want any more of your ports. Yeah, man. Like Sean said, I want them to flop. Dirt. That's I, I, want, yes. I wonder if the hardcore ponies didn't buy these games out of spite. The hardcore mm-hmm. ponies did not buy these games out of spite. But they probably, they'll end their type of game anyway. Chef Sharon with the 200 rupees. I predicted exactly this. Microsoft will learn the exact lesson they need to learn. Ponies don't buy games. Cost and times to port ain't worth it. The only uh, games ponies buy are already owned by Microsoft. There you go. <laughs> Minecraft, Call of Duty. I want. I wonder if you're doing the segue also because it kind of correlates with what that like internal memo got leaked about Matt Booty talking about the brand that porting these games actually stressed the brand more than mm-hmm. than and damage yeah, it mm-hmm. and it's like yeah, yeah. I, sometimes i'm like is it even worth to be that stressed out of four games I'm, that didn't sell i can tell you Joey. and if as a human happen. being if you're stressed as fuck you can get a heart attack so is it worth being that yeah. stressed out of four fucking games like for real if these games are having these results it's definitely not worth it you know we don't know how the games would do in the future we don't know how see if these and grinder would do but so far so bad you want to be honest i mean you know, that is going to show you just because PlayStation has the biggest market share. That reminds me of when Cliffy B last generation chose the PS4 for lawbreakers. Like a dumbass. Because it had the higher market share and nobody cared. Just because they have the highest market share does not I, mean, you know, because Xbox, Xbox was the, like those types of games. Yeah. Xbox was literally the shooter box. That was, right, the it was a shooter box. And he decision. chose the PS4. You know, what an idiot. Saying, you know, th- it's more potential because. There's more PS4s out there. There's more PS5s out there, but that doesn't mean. Uh, but tell we know though. Hey, dirt. Tell that to Street Fighter. That's how to... oh. What happened with them? Who? <laughs> Street Fighter. Five. PS4. Yeah. Uh, we know that PlayStation is the default console in a yeah. lot of regions, so it's not even like for the casuals. That. Uh, by the way, I have a video. Uh, this 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 afternoon, I had to do something in the plaza. I had to do go, go do a bank. Uh, deposit somebody in the bank and there was an entire booth about full of playstations and switches and i'm like god damn it i hate it mm-hmm. it's like it's not that they're there because they're their preferred thing it's there because they don't sell fucking it's xbox default. yeah yeah it's yeah, default that's what bothers me i'm gonna put the video later on what's on going end. on boom what's up player um school to shooter with the 10 i came here for wbg but i got a mini desk concert with killer mike and LP wrong the Jews, you broke ass ponies. Who you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> talk about? Me and you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> killer Mike. Which one but, is Killer um, Mike? I, I'm assuming that's me. Uh um, Rob and OKC right. with the five. Ponies have to shake the couch cushions just to save up $70 for one game. They broke. Oh, <laughs> damn. Damn. Damn, Rob. <laughs> Justin Marsh with the five. Thank wow, you, Justin hi, Marsh. Baby. Shout out to Salute you, brother. To you, playboy. Always appreciate you, man. Always appreciate you. Um, <clears throat> well, l- let me get my quick take before we you know, you know, the rest of you guys go. I just feel that what, what, uh, Xbox is doing is something i I still believe this was a test. Some people say, you know, I mean, I, I do believe they will put more games on it, but they like, remember Phil said they chose these four games for a reason. Remember he said they chose these four specific games for a reason. Who Phil Spencer? Yeah, he, he maybe, said that. Maybe, maybe they were the only ones willing to port it to PlayStation. You know? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I don't know, man. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happen. You know, but the, 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 everything is crazy right now, bro. Everything crazy. Got dirt, about dirt, this I, I got one more thing to add. Like, I thought Pete Hines left Dirt. He did. Okay. He did. You know that shit he was saying? <laughs> about he what? apologized. Hmm. And then Aaron oh yeah, yeah, I remember that he yeah. ain't sorry. Yeah, I remember that. That's what I'm saying. I thought he left, and now all of a sudden, games going to PlayStation. What's going on? <laughs> His spirit lives on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. 
Um, uh, but I'm look, it's a nothing burger at the end of the day. We knew it was going to flop. We hope it's going to flop because we don't want those games on PlayStation. PlayStation don't deserve it. PlayStation as a company doesn't deserve it. PlayStation, I just, it is what it is. Like, Xbox should learn to keep them things for themselves and market a goddamn game. That's it. That's all we got to say. That's it. Yeah, honestly, because I was, I agree completely with Joey. I don't understand why the first thought was, hey, we need to make more money. I was like, cool. How about. We improve our own platform. We've got the mobile. we got Samsung TVs with the apps. we got all these different ways to play. Why aren't we pushing it to every single country that we're still not available in? I don't understand why. Maybe like it's most of them? How, yeah. how about you bun- How you want sales? How about you bundle it like Sony does? Like get yeah. to, to prop their sales? How about you bundle a, a Series S with Hi-Fi Rush code inside? <laughs> how about you do that? Maybe a kid is like, oh, that looks fun. I, I want that, mom. How about that? Like, come on, now, man. Now, Stop. still, we still don't know what their plans are for the holiday. For all we know, they could have a Series S $200 bundled with whatever cards coming out this year. And that could, you know, put them where they, they need better. to be. They but, better. Yeah, they better. But honestly, the first step should have been, in my opinion, expanding our platform to what we have already and marketing the, it to hell and back in the countries we are not in. And expanding the countries we're not in. I don't understand why. Well, granted, we don't, I'm pretty sure don't, not many people have cable anymore, but sporting events um however youtube social media every time someone who someone who doesn't have like premium so they have to watch the ads xbox should be on it they should be on every single every single app that has ad space they should be on it pushing it game pass all these games come <clears throat> call of duty i don't understand why it should be everywhere it should, be, it should be, get to the point where it's annoying that's how you know advertising working when you're sick and tired of seeing it because it's everywhere i don't understand why we don't see that i'm randy granted because the next game is is what june i think uh, May 11th, and it's Hellblade. We haven't seen shit. Yeah. I, if it just me. Hold on. Hold on. Are we talking about marketing? How, how the hell we start talking about marketing? Which we're, we're trying to figure out Hello. why their first their first move wasn't pushing what they already have with marketing and platforms versus trying to put, sell the games on PlayStation. Because clearly it's not working. All right, um, like stay on task, both folks. <laughs> Let me get the super chat. Rangy four to five. Pony Star Hi Fi Rush was a leapfrog game teaching them how to play and buy games. Also, there wasn't an over shoulder view option. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, oh yeah. man, <laughs> it's a game that you have actually have to play. Yeah, you, you, have like to play. you can't watch it. You know, you have to play it. Gave everybody a choice with the five. Blockbuster was the biggest uh, in the industry. Then industry change. PlayStation is the biggest in gaming, but the industry is changing. Xbox is ahead of the curves. I agree wholeheartedly. Mm-hmm. Very much so. When because I say that kind of stuff, you know, opponents try to clip me and do a video about me. Say, look at this delusional bot. No, but what you said is absolute facts. It is, it is facts, but sometimes you got to stop living the future and living the now. Like, for real. Like, sometimes you're, dude, you're living right now. Try to do something right now instead of, I don't know. Sometimes they go too ahead of the curve. And they crash sometimes, so but yeah. that's what happens. Um, Lotus E Spirit with the 10. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Shout, okay, shout out bro. to you. Thank Darn you so much shot. for the He's support. Quiet. Um, crazy horse, thank you for becoming a member again, fam. Thank you, bro. Yeah, Mandingo with the five. I know what the female ponies are playing. That oh, new God. game called Growth and Choke. <laughs> it's epic for me. The only time what? it pops is when I finish. Oh, what the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my good game is that. My God. Don't be asking no more questions, Joey. Don't ask no more questions. <laughs> well, nigga, you never know you're going to need some Vaseline, my nigga. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you made r and I've I, I, I heard it, anything about Pentiment on the Switch. <laughs> I, I don't so, know how he does it, bro. My nigga uh, bro. He's, he's very <laughs> clever, man. He's very clever, bro. Very smart. Yeah. All right, y'all, let's move on. Uh, we got pretty much 7697 in here. Six, uh, shout out to the... 697. Let's get Woo! it over 700. Hit that like button. Yeah, let's hit that like button. Oh, shit. We dropped out eight. We got hit our RB back. Oh, the hit that moves. like button. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, power had a trip or something. I don't know. Oh, shit. It's all good, bro. But all no, right, um, y'all. Are we moving on? Yeah, we got so much to say. Of course, we're moving on the POS. <laughs> but no, it's just. I sincerely hope at the end of the day, when they see the results of how much it sold, they're like, I hope they're like, all right, single player games, period, we're done with. I don't hope someone points out, well, why would we try one of the bigger looking games, like, God forbid, like Hellblade or something else that we've had in the past. I hope, I hope this steers away from single player games as a whole. I, I, I hear you, but we heard 
Sea of Thieves was being ported since last, January last year, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was mm. two years ago. Jordan. Yeah, yeah, they were doing that. So <clears throat> you can bet right now they still have still in the process of porting some other games. Yeah, they're so definitely They're not going to stop that. They're not going to cut it off if they're in the middle and losing money on that. I mean, so I mean all I have to really say is Call of Duty is going into Game Pass. Who gives a shit? If they're talking about money, yeah. like they don't have to do it. They're just, they as want these long, games to survive. As longer, long as Halo, you know? Gears, and Forza is not going to start. And Hellblade and Indy. As long as those games ain't going, maybe people are going to be a little bit more tolerable with the games that are going to be ported, whichever it is. Mm. Hopefully they're small. Like, I don't but know. But Joey, Joey, I don't think you understand. Call of Duty is going into Game Pass. Day know. one. I better not what? see Doom Zero over there either. Oh, of shit. But, but remember this. But Joey, that game me. is going into Game Pass day one. God dang it, Dave, we heard you. Oh, shit, hold yes, on, wait, wait. I, I don't wait. think Joey remembered. I ain't used this in a long time. Hold on, where is not, that? Not everybody's on Game Pass. Oh, shit, Joey, Joey and Devin going at it right now. <laughs> we use that in a long time. That's a Point. classic one, Dev. Oh, I, I don't even game. have the spirit to fight no more, to be honest. <laughs> Jerry, you don't have Game Pass Ultimate? Jungle Grip S24. Uh, Hold on, wait. What you say about R&B, Sean? What you say about R&B? Hold on, what you say piece of shit. Oh, hold on, wait. Fight. Sean, you bus driver mofo. What the hell are you talking about now? <laughs> what are you talking about, you BBW? No good piece of shit. What are you talking about? Why are you always jumping the topics? Why? Explain I would not jump the topic. We took it to an organic route. Would you know if you work in third shift on a damn there's bus? There's no organic route, man. Oh, After God. you with your BBWs, there's no organic route anymore. Come on, please. <laughs> no, 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 shit. Uh, okay, guys. <laughs> Yo, duh, let's move on, man. Uh, you know. Thank you guys for uh <laughs> thank you so much. Gamer by choice with the five. Sony and Xbox not seeing cus uh customer growth, but just trading the same users. So if they are not buying on PlayStation, why we think they're uh, they will get an Xbox and buy games? <clears throat> That's a fair point, man. Like not, I believe me and Sean was right. saying they gotta figure out another way. Um time maker man the five ponies don't buy shit, all they play is Twitter. Xbox fans buy and support games. Ponies keep shooting themselves in the foot, the hoof, and they four. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. All right, Ray, G4, on, Ray G4, I do have Game Pass Ultimate. I don't have Cloud. I don't have Rewards. I don't have uh, GeForce. I don't have, uh, what else? Do you have Day Ones? Yeah, I do. All right, y'all, let's move on. Uh, so, Joey, I don't, man, I don't have the console over here, but I do have Game Pass Ultimate. Here's my Xbox right here. Look at your ass, boss, Joy. All right, let's move on. Joy mentioned this, so I just want to talk about it. Uh, Matt Booty, Jazz Corden said that, Jazz heard that Matt Booty acknowledged that the multiple platform strategy has stressed but not damaged the brand, damaged the brand. Jazz is paraphrasing because it is not a direct source but something he's heard secondhand. So, they're aware that the multi, uh, the multiple platform strategy, you know, it, it has stressed the brand, but he said it, is, it has not damaged the brand. But they're aware that it's not, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, former Xbox guys in the community that is up that's upset about it. The Xbox brand is getting a lot of negative uh, press, a lot of negative press. Like it hasn't been this bad probably since when uh, the start of the Xbox One Gen is pretty bad um so they're aware that it has stressed the brand so they understand that there are some things that people like us we're not going to like they understand that um like like you said it is stressing the brand but what do you guys think about that you like Sean, i mean joey do you feel like okay you saying it's not it's stressing the brand but it's not damaging the brand what does that mean exactly what do you think he means by that it means that there's a lot of disgruntled people, but they're we're all talk, but we're not doing anything actually. But then they're not leaving. I think they actually saw the numbers. They're like, all right, people are pissed, but Tim Dong is still turning on his fucking Xbox every night. So who gives a shit? 
Like that's the reality of the thing. I like Tim Dog could talk all the shit he wants, but I could bet right now he's turning on his Xbox and playing. He's angry about it, but he's still playing. He's not playing on dog shit PlayStation. Like it is what it is. I, I think that's what it is. They saw the numbers. They saw the whatever social media has been talking. They saw a lot of stress. They hate that people are tagging them on every social media. Possible. Yeah, I see feelings that that a lot, bro. Yeah, calling him <laughs> out and DMs and all that shit. And the and they see uh, um, podcasts talking about this. They see uh, media talking bad about them. That is stressing them out. But when they see the numbers of how you know, engagement in the console. They're seeing how many people are still buying the games. They're seeing who's turning on the games. They're like, it actually didn't hurt them. Man. But that doesn't mean it's worth doing it. That's, that's what my point. Like, yes, I can be I can be stressed out out of my mind, but the stress can actually do some things to my health. It could, you know, get me, I'm seeing people get some, get strokes because of stress. They got, they got a heart attack because of stress. Yeah. So whatever they're well, doing, serious, bro. Yeah. It, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean because it's not hurting you directly or right now. It doesn't mean about in the long haul that stress can, you know, inflict some kind of damage, even though it's just some imagining thing like a brand. So I think they have this think about it. Like, is this stress actually worth it? And whatever new wave of games is coming, are people going to react the same or even worse, depending on the game, of course? So uh, I'd say it's not worth it. I'd say stop it. I say start prompting your brand like you should and go to other regions. See if people like it because it's not yeah. fair. I put this as an example. If people get excited about Hellblade, they're like, oh, my God, Hellblade looks awesome. But people in that country doesn't have $2,000 to spend on a PC. They're going, okay, I'm going to buy me an Xbox. Where are you going to buy it if they're not selling mm -hmm. retail? So yeah. you got a person that was interested in buying the console and the game and maybe subscribing to you, to you to your service, but it's not available to them. So they say, so where can I get this game? You can't. And they're not willing to pay $12,000 for a PC. So they go by default again towards PlayStation and Nintendo. Okay. So, I, again, I think it's just pump up your brand, sell it other, way, other places, at least try, right? And if that doesn't work, then you can do whatever you want. But that's the All right. Uh, Inferno. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Let me get these super chats. Suffer the pain. Member of 13 months. Hey, Dirk. Now sat. <laughs> now turn. Put them together. Saturn. <laughs> Saturn. <laughs> Saturn. Sega Saturn. Oh my God. Look, I, somebody in the chat said like that. Those other countries don't buy as much. That is true. But then you still have Nintendo and Sony <laughs> picking up the little crumbs of those little countries. Yeah. And those little crumbs add up. And then you see the big numbers that Nintendo and Sony has. Yeah, that's a good point, George. It's a good point. Um, iconic video games with the five. He stressed the world's most powerful the world's most powerful console has been the beta test console for the superior PS5 versions. Oh shit. Come on, Axel. Yeah, I know. Listen, um, I know it was just like some shadows, high fire rush was shadows were better, but honestly. Nothing should be better about that bitch. It should be equal or Xbox <laughs> something better on Xbox. But you know, it's it's rough. And you know what? That's something I had to um I thought about, man. I I thought about like moving forward. If PlayStation is always a market leader, no matter how powerful Xbox console will be, will it ever show the power on multi-platform games? Because they're always making it for the PlayStation 5 or what. Or the PlayStation first. They're always making it for PlayStation first because they have the market share. I don't know. But yeah, I feel that no Xbox game should be inferior to PlayStation in any way. I don't care if it's Shadow. I don't care if it's Grass. I don't care if it's nothing. It should be either equal or Xbox version superior because, you know, Xbox Series X is supposed to be the, the better console. And it is the more powerful console. So I don't want to see any Xbox games. Any. I don't give a shit. I say I that these developers are being fucking lazy and they need to use the entirety of the power of the console. And if they don't, that's on them being fucking lazy. Yeah, so first party as I nah, I do agree. First Xbox first party game should 100% be better on Xbox, no doubt about it. The grass is superior. <laughs> Minecraft talk what the hell. Infernal Dragon with the five. Funny thing I saw recently is that ponies are damaging their own brand right now by presenting themselves as pervs because of Stellar. Bro, 
Listen, that is crazy. I, I want to keep my chapters because this is the time of the year my chapters always leave for whatever reason. <laughs> Summertime. Every yeah. like the last two years around April, my chapters left for like three months. <laughs> I swear. But so we gotta be, <coughs> be careful. <coughs> Excuse me. They are tripping with this game, bro. It's like they never know the woman, demo, before, but I haven't real. played it yet. They are tripping with this mm. game. Look, As the character Marvel, model looks fantastic, but it's like, yeah. third set dude, are, you, are y'all 12 years old? It's like, come on, man. Calm down. Bro. For real, honestly. Uh, gave it by choice with the five. I wonder if Xbox is not sold in some reasons because Microsoft has contracts with governments and some of the countries make selling them complicated. WBG, you know, that's a valid question. We don't know, mm -hmm. man, because like, um, I forget who told me, say Xbox is sold in 45 countries and PlayStation is sold in 75 countries. Yeah, something like that. That's man. a big discrepancy, you know. Yeah, that's, that's a huge discrepancy. Like be, yeah, that's something you would like to be closer, tighter, you know. So, all right, y'all got something else. Uh, I, I'm sorry because we really like we already talked about this, but y'all got something else about this uh, as far as Matt Matt Booty, Sean. The Seraph Dibs, well, you know what? You, that, that maybe they should learn about stress. Are you on mute, Sean? Did you say so? My bad, my bad. Oh. I forgot. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, but there's no doubt, bro. No, when you're doing the console war and listen. We know some of the homies in the chat when the uh, rumors were coming out about this game, XYZ game, was going to go to the other platforms. It just pisses you off. You're going to be stressful, and that's what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. But he knows that like, when it comes to the real bots and the real uh, Xbox guys, I think they know they're not going to be flipping like that. You'll get the odd few here and there in that community bubble, but overall, no, it's not going to be like 90% is going to flock to the PlayStation 5 or, or Nintendo because Xbox is doing... Uh, putting certain games on other platform, and but Donnie D actually managed to do that though. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Donnie Donnie's the main man, bro. Um, but <laughs> Donnie D, <laughs> Donnie D. But that's the thing, that Joe. You wanted to say like stressing. Oh, that was there, definite, bro. Everybody, I remember that week, them two, three weeks, and that leading up to this as well. People have to take a break. We know this as well. Uh, the behind the scenes, one of the homies goes, "This, I'm just staying away. These ponies are just talking too much shit." So. I'm mm -hmm. taking a break and that, and some of the homies in the chat were pissed off as well. Yeah, because uh, if this was uh, if it, if it was legit, it pisses you off because these games belong to belong to the Xbox because we deserve them type of games. But I think Matt, listen, Phil, Matt, Sarah knows what they know. What's up? They know doing shit like that is not gonna help. They're gonna get smoked, no doubt. It's gonna uh, piss off some people in the community. And it is what mm -hmm. it is, man. Uh, after a couple of weeks, you back to normal. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's what that's what happens, bro. Yep. I agree, man. I agree. Uh, uh, Devin RB, y'all got anything, bro? Just I mean, yeah. Go ahead, RB. I just, I get it. It's a hard position to be in. If you thought the focus was, we're going to do things. <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to do things that bring people to our platform. You think that's a focus? Cool. You're going to go full speed ahead. But when someone above you says, well, this is working or better yet, because I, I, I honestly feel and looking at the numbers, Xbox was climbing in numbers and sales and they're doing better. Obviously, what was that? That one statistic they've been their their, their revenue would have been increasing since 2021 or something like that. And then on top of that with. um, Shoot, what was it? I can't remember. But anyway. I don't, I could understand from a gamer how you feel like the rug's been pulled out from under you. Possibly more so from someone who actually works in a company and makes decisions. So that probably leaves a bad taste all, all in all. So now the focus is getting more people to play our games. And you feel like you've, you feel like you're stabbing in the back the people who were there with you guys when you didn't have games, but knew you guys could do better. And now you have to change the whole aspect of it. So it's like, I can't fault them for saying how they felt, especially Matt Booty, because he was the one I was saying spend a couple of competition on a business, right? When the uh, lawsuit came out. So uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's hard to really just place it, man, because honestly, what before it was like, I said it before, the person that really loses is the hardcore game. Everybody else wins. 100%. 100%. They sell more, yada, yada, but mm -hmm. if they feel like this is going to get more hardware sales. I gotta see what the plan is because at this point it's not making a lot of sense. If I play Hi-Fi Rush or Pentiment and I like it, that's gonna make me jump over to an Xbox platform somehow. I I don't really get that. 
So yeah, I can understand. We, I, uh, like, like, like my my thing is, it's like I understand like games as a service, like like Minecraft, say, and like say if it was just like CFDs, but I really don't understand like like game single player games going to other platforms. Like the game, the game. The game did really good on Steam and Xbox and Game Pass for that matter, Hi-Fi Rush. Um, so I don't understand why it, it needs to go to other platforms. Like, how much money did they really expect to get from that? Pentiment, Pentiment probably didn't even sell that well in general. Oh, no, no. Ain't nobody about that. Too. But, like, Grounded and CFDs, I can see that. Like, they're they're more, like, Grounded. Those are more towards- more understandable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, directed like ground is more directed towards the kids. The kids love that game, they want to play with their friends. I understand that. And see if these is just a big game, like it's a successful game, but the single player games I just don't get. Joey, what the hell are you playing? Is it is that Resident Evil 5? Yeah, POS. You know what's funny? I found more people that looks like Sean than people that look like you and RB in this game. All right, Joe, you could have just kept it to yourself. All right, let's move on. Um, with the uh, Ultraman with the five, Jim Ryan's reign is at Sony is over. One thing I noticed is he's a goofy ass look- looking dude, got a haircut like Woodstock from Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown, <laughs> uh, it's funny, shit, bro. Game trailers with the five. These pony bots want Donnie D back, but Donnie D reason why Xbox is in this position. Xbox still this day cannot recover from 2013. Hate on field, not fair. Yeah, we're gonna talk I hate about to say that. It. It's next, true. Bro. Like he did. Do you think he did it on purpose, y'all? When he was doing all that dumb shit towards the end of his ring? No, no, I don't think he did it on purpose at all. I think mm-hmm. he felt that was the way to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. Um <clears throat> next, uh, let me write this timestamp down. Hey Sean, you know what time it is? What player is a killer? I think you know. I think you piece of shit of the week. All right, y'all. <clears throat> Time for a POS of the week. We got a couple I want to uh show. Some of these, I'm sure, a couple of these I'm sure you guys saw it or heard it. Um well, first, here we go. Good old, uh, you know, Sean Boy, Moose, you know, the show Sean used to call every week. This is what he said. What have you gotten brand new from first party from Microsoft? They've bought half of the publishers out there. What have you gotten, Abdel? What have- How dare mm. you ask what Xbox first party has done? What have they gotten new from f- fucking Bungie since they bought them? Listen. Nothing. That's not even the mm. point. Talk that shit, Joe. My point is, this dude asks. He now you guys heard. He specifically said first party. Are you kidding me? When PlayStation has dropped nothing but third party exclusives this year, and the only they don't really have a first party roadmap except for a couple of games. I mean, there we could go back the past. The whole generation, honestly, like, yeah, they've dropped first party games, but like, majority of the games have been all third party or second. Bro. Like, what are we talking about here, bro? My point is, how come on, man? How how could you do that when PlayStation is their first their first party is in the situation that they're in? Like, really? And come I, on, man. I mean, it, it's it. It's hilarious when an Xbox game drops on your console and it's the most pre-ordered game of all time on your console. It's not the most pre-ordered game of all time. <laughs> well, it broke records, though. <laughs> We're running with it, Derek. We're running with it. <laughs> Listen, it I, don't records, want this, I just want us to be factual, man. But you know um, what, Derek? This mentality right here is why PlayStation is in the situation they're in right now, where they can just completely ignore all their issues, focus on Xbox, and now Jim Ryan's gone. The chief financial officer is making shots, and they canceled how many games? Canceled how many? Uh, canceled, canceled studios. Not canceled studios. Oh well, yeah, they, <laughs> they closed them down. Yeah, closed <laughs> studios. Canceled projects. Um, PS PSVR two is flopping. Is like, how, I don't understand. Well, you know what we're seeing? We're seeing a prime example of how long it takes for a ship to sink. 
I think that's what we're really seeing mm. because <clears throat> with everything Xbox is doing to make more money, if you if you honestly think PlayStation is not going to do anything like them, you are sorely mistaken because they've already been doing it. That we, we forgot ponies slight ponies quietly gave up on no games to PC. You remember that? Mm-hmm. They quietly gave up on it. Yeah. You know what the you know what the, uh, the concession is now? Well, it's just the games of service games going to PC day and date. You yeah. think they'll stop at that? Like, come yeah. on. Now. That's not that's true right there. That's true. Uh let me get to the second one. Now, this chick has been POS of the week before. She's angry, man. I don't know why she's so damn angry. Mm. <laughs> Wait, who? Said Xbox who? has no games, dude. Like, PS5 I mean... at 71 million, <laughs> Xbox series at 4 million. <laughs> Xbox had 4 million, dude. <laughs> Oh shit, man. <laughs> he said he's at 70, he's at four. That's funny. All right, y'all. Let's move on. Mm. So this chick, I don't know if you guys can see it, but Lisa Alice, that's her name. Um, so this person says Final Fantasy 16 is coming to Xbox leaker suggest, but it won't, but don't expect it anytime soon. This Lisa Alice chick is never coming to shit box. End mm. of discussion. Why is she so damn angry, man? Every time I show one of her, you know, tweets, she is this angry mm. at Xbox. It's listen, I don't know if this is really a woman, you know, because you know, we've seen catfishes out here, you know, guys were using his wife picture. <laughs> like, what was that person's oh, name, bro? Was it like it started with an M? Mar- Mar- Marlis, Mar- I think. Mar- Mar- Marlis, Mar- yeah. Marlis, he was out there using his wife. Why would you want your wife picture out there and people hate? You know, Matt, come on, that's so, that's the dumb. That guy, that's the guy pretending to be a girl and uh, like simps and stuff. M- for mental picture. illness, mental illness. Yeah, okay. but I don't know if that was the situation there. So <clears throat> I'm like, why is she so angry, man? For real. Last one I got, man. This uh, this other pony that's been here before. Um, him jump. <laughs> Him, Josh Ung, or whatever his damn name is. He says, Xbox losing their mind over this one. What? A, what? Bro. What? what are we losing our mind from? PlayStation and Kojima. They're making a movie? Uh-huh. And it's some They're... type of movie. Like, remember they hinted at a movie? Uh-huh. Uh, we know that. That's a he movie. He said they losing movie that. Plan? We're losing our mind over a movie. They are? Yeah, but but Who's Kojima making? is a freelancer and he gets contracts to make games. So what's the problem? I don't know. And he's making one for Xbox too. Fair. Uh, yeah. A horror so, game. Uh, That's actually. Oh, actually a horror game. So why would we be losing our mind over this? I don't know. I can't stand these dudes, man. Motherfucker. <laughs> Ever dudes. since Kojima announced he's making an exclusive game for Xbox, they just couldn't handle it. Oh yeah, they definitely couldn't handle that. So anyway. Fuck all these guys. And at the end of the day, all three of them are pieces of shit of the week. Piece of shit of the week. Ah, goodness. Anyway, let me get the super chats. Carl Weed with the five. I bet Xbox lost five to ten million console sales putting things they want on PC. I know people personally who didn't buy an Xbox to gym because they have a PC. And I believe Xbox is okay with that as long as people subscribe to Game Pass or they bought um, Xbox games. I, I'm sure they know knew that was going to happen. PC is the one um, uh, section that no console owner should be mad about. Here's the thing, though. like As far as PC uh, game sales goes, Hold on. Xbox is probably Hold making on. way more money than PlayStation. Can't you start, bro? Now, this is why Ray Ray was on your ass saying shit like this. What? I can't blame Don for everything. Phil has been stinking up Xbox for 10 years. We, you, and PS3 recovered. Why can't Phil do the same? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> are now, you get it? You're serious with this, co- man? You paid money on. to We're come about to talk about. We're about to talk about this. Oh my goodness! We're about to talk about this next. Now, uh, now, can just start. Uh, you know, listen, man. The <laughs> homies want to go after you, bro. I ain't gonna stop. It, it, it was a dog <laughs> shit coming. I'm just saying. <laughs> Joaquin Branch with the two Tim dog sounds like Barney Gobble from The Simpsons. Oh shit, man. <laughs> 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 oh, I listened back to Doc Man. I, I did do a pretty decent Tim Dog, but I forgot how I did it, bro. I really do. Someone he said, We you recovered? 
Oh man, hot spot. No, remember for fourteen months. Shout out to all the dirt holics and Joey Maniacs. <laughs> Woo! Shout out to the dead holics. Uh, I pity PlayStation peasant with the five. In other news, Forza Horizon Five is going to reach forty million gamers within a couple of months. We should dedicate a WBZ for this magnitude of a franchise. That's pretty. Excuse me. It's pretty impressive. Pretty damn impressive. Uh, Dragon's Blade, remember for 16 months, PlayStation has to drop their first party game since Spider Pool 2. Ponies don't just miss the boat, they tried to ice skate up here. Oh, shit, Dragon's Blade talking trash. Thank you, bro. The angry therapist with the two will PlayStation be around when that game's supposed to drop? No, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen, like I said, my man Hiroki is uh, he's really in charge right now, so we'll see what happens. Is this new? Dope. Mandingo with the five. Dirt, I know exactly why she's so angry. Just send, <laughs> just send me the address, and old Mandingo will um settle her down for you. No oh more POS God. tweets. Oh, come on. Oh, man. my goodness. Come on, Mandingo. Uh, bro. <laughs> the king of smut. <laughs> the self-appointed king of smut. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, we got one, seven, My chapters. 20. All right, guys. Um, So, like, here's the star. That's got to be yeah. saying there's been a lot of negative Phil Spencer, negative Xbox uh, articles, news. It's It's been pretty bad. It's been a shit show, to be honest with you, you know. Um, and there's been like diehard Xbox guys in the past. Of course, we talking about Tim Dog and some other guys. They've jumped ship. Guys like Cloberill is, you know, he's putting out a lot of um, questionable tweets, some anti Xbox tweets. So a lot of people is upset with the direction Xbox is moving. And, of course, you know, Phil Spencer is the head of Xbox, so they're blaming him for his decisions. Now, um, let me share this. VGC put out articles say, I think Phil Spencer for so long's cast as Xbox savior may ultimately be remembered as the man who killed it. Mm. Now these are articles from, you know, these websites, man. Wait, wait, and, uh, why are we tra- why are we listening to VGC for news for anything after the last debate? No, I mean I'm just saying I'm just sure there's a lot of anti mm. Xbox Phil Spencer stuff. We had guys in the community, um, known Xbox guys saying get rid of Phil, bring back Don Matrick. Um, so I think people need to really listen to us for a second. What I'm about to break down, including you, Kendrick Starr. You said Phil has done nothing in 10 years. <clears throat> now, I don't want to make a bunch of excuses. I don't want to cry. Like I put in the title, Phil Spencer is not perfect. He's not. Nobody is. But to say this man hasn't saved Xbox is an understatement. Now, we've seen the articles in the past. Don Matrick left Xbox in such a bad state. They were Microsoft was about to shut them down. I know we've said this so many times on this podcast, TTS. We've talked about this, but it keeps on coming up. So I'm going to keep on repeating myself. Don Matrick left the platform in such a bad state that Satya Nadella was about to get rid of the shit. Phil talked them into keeping it around, but for years they didn't have the budget, and, and people say, this is Microsoft. What you mean they didn't have the budget? Terry Myerson and all of those guys was not giving Xbox Phil Spencer the budget to create games, <coughs> excuse me, besides Halo, Gears, and Forza. Right, so now here we are. What happened when they gave them the damn budget? <laughs> Listen to me for a second. Mm. <laughs> Phil got hired, got promoted in 2014. Uh, Kendrick Star said, yo, the Xbox One launch was fire. It was. They, they had a damn good launch as far as games. How many of those okay. first party? Here's the thing. There it was fire. Happened. Here's the thing. It was fire. Did it matter? It did not matter. There you go. But the, the first party point I was about to make, none of those games, with the exception of uh, Dead Rising 3, got a sequel. Mm-hmm. Except for Kill it was Kill Instinct. Titanfall may get, may get a sequel, but we Titanfall don't wasn't at launch. It was in the launch. It was like six right, months. Launch window. Yeah, 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 launch window. But yeah. but but the but the sequel was the damn multiplayer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Perfect Dark sure didn't get another one yet. So people yet. say 
that was the 360 generation of uh, uh Devin. <laughs> that was the 360. Yeah, they, they should, yeah, yeah, yeah. So my point is this. They now people always say, yo, man, this is Microsoft. How come they wasn't giving Xbox the budget? People told me, told us, we had a guest on the show that told us behind the scenes that Terry Myerson was blocking all of that shit. He was not allowing them the money, the budget they wanted to create games. Now, I'm going to say this again. Tell me what happened when Terry Myerson left and Phil Spencer got promoted. <laughs> Explain to me what happened. How many studios did they have in 2017, y'all? Five. 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 How many studios do they have now, y'all? 30 something 40 plus including don't, don't 40. even know don't even know the number 34 40. <laughs> so y'all want to sit here and tell me that phil spencer didn't help this brand yes i understand no they're putting games on the on the platforms everything they're they're doing is not something that we like mm -hmm. but when phil spencer first got promoted to be the head of xbox it was almost like they like telling a, a chef here, man. You're a chef here. H like here's some ingredients, but guess what? You have no stove to cook on, you piece of shit. <laughs> Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I was upset when they first announced these four games are going to the to the PlayStation, to the Switch, and whatnot. But I'm thinking, like at the end of the day, now we have games like. We have all Bethesda games, all Activision games. All these games are going to be dropping on Game Pass day one. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm eating good regardless. Like I, you can't get better than this. Like that's, you can't get better. One, one, one thing we also have to keep in mind about Phil, when he got the job, this is exactly what you said. Here, here's the keys of the house. He's like, now what I do? Then they didn't give him a budget. He had to fix everything internally. First he went to Japan for years. The first thing he did, this slash the connect. This is a paperweight. Nobody wants mm -hmm. it. Everybody forgets We're about over, We are overpriced. Why are we investing in this Xbox Studios things to make TV shows? Cut this shit out. Yep. We have no Ooh. support for indie devs. The PlayStation 4 was known for being the indie station, when which was no helping. Games, which they, but they were helping them. So they had to bring that trust back to Xbox. They created a ID and Xbox. And then it feels like, all right, I still don't have a budget, but at least we still have Halo, Gears, and Forza. And then in some someday, somebody gave him a, a fucking credit card and buy everything you want. Like, it hasn't been easy. That's not counting all the hate that Xbox gets all the time. A mm -hmm. dumbass question that Xbox gets all the time when they do an interview. And doesn't everything is scrutinized under Phil. Phil hasn't been... I, we, I've heard this years ago, or maybe last year. And I, I imagine Phil is the same thing. Phil can't be the head of Xbox in peace. Us Xbox <laughs> fans hasn't been Xbox fans in peace. We can't be in peace. It's always something. Now imagine being the head, the most famous guy under Xbox, Phil Spencer. Every single day you got a dumbass tweeting you some dumb shit. Phil is always getting oh. tweeted like people nope. saying, yo. Like we, like we really know what it is like to handle a fucking, be under a trillion dollar company and managing a billion dollar business. Fact. Because Xbox is a billion dollar business. Like we, like we really going to act like we know about that shit. Like Joey. we can act, we can Talk act all that we Joey. want about the, we can act like, oh yeah, game should be here, game should be there. But Phil is not thinking about that. He's thinking about fucking other problems like. Technology wise, where the few uh, data things that we don't even think about, mm -hmm. but that like, motherfucker, you could, well, but what is he doing right now? Let's see, man, like, now. imagine, oh, like, right. you know, you know how we be feeling pressured, like, people like come to us for information and whatnot. Like, imagine how Phil is feeling, like, oh, the people, these execs above him, like, imagine, like, if he says the wrong thing, he he could be out of there. If he does the wrong thing. Phil, Phil, was, no, Phil was online a minute ago, by the way. Phil yeah. was online a minute Phil ago. knows what's going on. Listen, let me tell you this. Um, shit, I was about, I forgot about to say. Damn, Devin made me forget about to say. You, you forgot, Dirk? Yeah. yeah. Let me uh, let me uh, sign it's in. The ray tracing, call. Dirk. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but no, let's go down memory lane for a second. Like, and that's not act like this isn't the same man who had a tussle with Terry Myerson for PC. I, I remember when Phil Spencer said, 
we're finally getting serious about games going to PC after Windows Live, online, all that stuff. I remember the dudes from Giant Bomb were like, all right, we've heard this before. Are they serious this time? Turns out they were. Starting from, what was it? Uh, it wasn't Halo, because one of Halo still isn't on PC. But after that, it was like every Halo game. Halo 5 is not on PC still. Yeah, after Halo 5. Every game since from Xbox is on PC, with on Steam, and on the Windows Xbox uh, PC store. We'll have that. Instant sales, because they did it day and day. They didn't heme and haw. They didn't pussyfoot around like places do right now. With, like Some games not going to know. They went full up bore. Every game we make is going to be on PC. I added revenue stream, and they didn't have to do much, that much different. From there, with the um, after that fight was done, with the was he the one that implemented the Xbox One S, or was that the guy before him? That was him. No, he was the One S. Yeah, that was the One S, the most high selling one they had. Bundled it, boom, smaller, more compact, yada yada. Then they start focusing on the games. Remember all, remember all the BS he got from saying, you know what? Let's start focusing on third party exclusives. Tomb Raider. I know y'all still remember all that BS. Yeah, all the, the back and forth, the constant. Well, I think he announced at Gamescom, right? And they were constantly mm-hmm. hemming him up about it, until so he had to finally say, "No, it's not a full on ex- exclusive." And I still have not seen that same energy on the other side of the street about when Final Fantasy is coming to Xbox. I have not seen a single journalist push up on PlayStation for any of that. But it's okay to push up on Phil Spencer about Tomb Raider. Like, come on now, <clears throat> pass that Game Pass, the thing that turned the whole industry on its head. And people are like, what are you crazy? Remember, um, what's the guy's name? Uh he, he's the no, he's he's the one we know for the Xbox curse because every time he jumps size, that side does worse. Oh, what's his name? Uh, Philip uh, Harrison. No, no. Um, crap gamer. Crap gamer. Crap That's gamer. What Re- remember when Game Pass was announced? He he jumped out the window saying, "This is horrible. This is going to be the end of us." What happened? Thirty five, uh, like thirty plus million subscribers later. Now, play. Guess what? PlayStation copied it. Nintendo copied it. So let's stop this nonsense. What? the... Mm. You know, when he went to his tech team and said, we are never going to be the less on power ever again. And from the Xbox uh, One X on, they were never to have the weaker console. Like, stop this nonsense. If you want to say he's made some bad decisions, maybe. I, I can't even say that. He's had to roll with the punches. But if you want to say he's pushed Xbox to a better place, and I think when that round table they had, I think it was yesterday that we talked about it, he said he wants to make sure the Xbox is around, Xbox is around for decades, not just the next generation, he's put them in a position to do that because still they're doing things that PlayStation is now dragging their feet on. They know it makes money, but there's whatever internal yeah. struggle that Phil Spencer didn't have to deal with that bad that they're still fighting with almost five years later. So to say he's bad for Xbox, you got to stop. You got to stop that. that All right, hold on. Hold on. Um, <clears throat> so, let, so let me go back for a second um, because the thing that's crazy is, like you said, um, when he said, I will say every decision we make today and tomorrow is for the better of Xbox. Mm-hmm. Do you know how many videos I've seen the this past weekend where the thumbnail said, Phil killed Xbox? Oh. Now, some of these are Xbox guys. They didn't say it. They're not saying Phil killed Xbox, but they were referring, referring to that VGC article where, you know, it was anti Phil Spencer. But I seen like a few thumbnails that said Phil killed Xbox. So... Because people are questioning that, I have to go back like I did a, a few minutes ago when I went back to the 2014 to now to 2017 with five studios to now. We talk about how when Xbox had no games, we talk about it took them so long to develop games because they had no games in development besides the big three. We know this. Now we're seeing the game starting to come out. And you know, now people now want to act like the brand is dying now. Listen, maybe the console war is dying, right? Maybe talking shit to ponies. No, nah, I'm still talking shit to ponies, but like I said, maybe the console war is dying, right? But how is people saying the brand itself is dying? Yes, I know putting putting your games on other platforms is is, is the no no. Uh, okay, well we see there's a plenty of uh, um, 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 examples of things being different than than how they used to be. Plenty of examples. So. I'm just saying, Phil Spencer gets so much hate, man, from the media, from ponies, from former Xbox guys. <laughs> you would think the guy is the damn devil the way they act, man. You know what I'm saying? So 
Uh, that's about it, man. No, um, no, but we're we're not saying also we can't criticize Phil. And this is you can criticize him. We can criticize him because he, there's certain things that we don't understand sometimes. It's like, and if it's even, like today, we're we're talking about if was it even worth put these four games on the PlayStation under the amount of stress they're getting out. Like that decision at the end of the Jury. day, Phil had to made it right. So it's like those are things that we can criticize, right? But, Jury, but to pretend Jury, that Jury. Xbox is totally dead. If Xbox would have been totally dead, I couldn't turn on my Xbox right now and play a game. Mm. Like the servers would have been down. I would have a pop up and say, "Hey, until this t- until this date, Xbox is totally gone," and some shit like that. That's when the brand is actually dead. Xbox hasn't gone that through that yet. Can, can like, I? Xbox has been now? Xbox has been dying since two thousand one. Can I? I want you, you guys to now? remember how Xbox started. Sure. Go, go ahead, Devin. Tell me. I, I'm gonna say, like, do you really think Phil Spencer wanted to put those games on other platforms? No. I really don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> So obviously there's something else going on that obviously they're not going to tell us. So that's just my whole point. That's the whole point. Yeah, bro. Like feel kind of bosses too. Let me let's put it, let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. This is the last thing I'll say about this. Right now they're saying Xbox is under stress. Phil has been under stress. The Xbox brand has been under stress since the Xbox One days. Don Matrick didn't get stressed. Don Matrick got the 360 on the height of his power, and he dropped it. He fumbled it in the one-yard line. He almost killed it that we're still talking about it. <laughs> Who did it worse? Shit. Hey, man, don't make me play the video again, Joe. That was crazy. Talk that don't make me play that. Like, who did it Don worse? The again. guy who launched a VCR-ass, big-ass mm-hmm. console that was talking about everything but video games. Right? Telling mm. people don't buy it, buy a fucking 360 if you don't have internet, and bounced. He straight up bounced two months after the launch. <laughs> Shit. No, 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 no. After that E3 2013, he was gone. Oh, whatever. He bounced. July 1st, he was gone. <laughs> and they were like a, a door knock away to say, hey, you're evicted. Get the fuck out of here. Actually. Joey. Microsoft was a door knock away to get Joey. Ticket. Them Microsoft themselves on that documentary said the 360 set them up to dominate. It set them up, and they lost the focus. So for these guys go out here and say, "Yo, bring Don Matcher back," shut up. At least say Peter Moore. Yes, at yes. least Peter Moore. Like, right, yes. bring back Peter Moore. <laughs> Don Matrick, bro. See, people don't realize Peter Moore left Don Matrick. And, bro, he left Xbox in good hands when he gave it to Don. Left him the keys of the kingdom. Like, go ahead. Bro, man, he left him. In, that, that 2007 was an amazing year. Peter Moore left in 2007. Don Matrix started in 2007. And you so got to think like, about it, come on, bro. Let me get this. You got to think about it, dirt. Like, you know, like uh, Peter Moore like made connections for games coming out years later. Yeah, of course. when he handed it off. Yeah. So people think like, oh, Don Matrick gave us these games. Like, no, nah, that was Peter Moore. Yeah, you know, before I get that, let me get this. Uh, let me show. I, I really think people want this. Like, people ignore this, though, right? Let me show this. I do understand that people want Phil to be to be more aggressive. Even I want that sometimes. How much? But the, how but that's just you not, have to be. I know. You you're gonna go that you hear what Uni said on that clip? I know, I know. I know. That piece 70, of shit. I know. Seventy billion. Know. How much more aggressive <laughs> do they need to be? No, but I know I know what they want. I want they want the Phil to be like the heel to be putting the boot on the yeah, Sony's yeah, but neck. that's not him. That's, that's not him. That's not him, unfortunately. But this is okay. I mean 2017, it kind of is, but you know. 2017. Rare. Mojang turn 10 343 the coalition the Xbox Global Publishing. They don't even make games. Go so it's really your <laughs> five I mean, studios, bro. Yeah. Global publishing doesn't even make games. They just find games and sign them and fund them. <laughs> this is what y'all. So That's here we go. Hold on, let me say it. Here we go, 2017, when the budget wasn't where it should be for Microsoft. All of a sudden, the budget, the, the, the book opens up. The wallet opens up. Phil Spencer gets a promotion. Mm. Then they have all of these studios. The so, biggest studios in the world, Dirt. So, remember, they ain't start spending money into 2018. Let's put it this way also, Dirt. So, a company or a boss or somebody or committee is not going to give you a budget if they know your business is going to die. Mm-hmm. 
if their business is not worth putting money in it, they're not going to invest in it, right? So what did Phil have to do in those years where he had no budget? He cut, but he cut a lot of things to create budget for them, and he created Game Pass. He showed to them Xbox is a profitable and reliable business, and if we're not in it, we're going to lose in it. We're going to lose like we did on the mobile seed, like Nokia. If that's a convincing mm. something Phil had to do, he convinced, he convinced them. A third place dying company of uh, brand is doing money, so you better invest in it. And uh, uh, like I guess yeah, I you said, know. yeah, you know what? You're right. Here, here's a hundred, here's eighty billion dollars. Have fun. But I'm I guess sure. we're not. But we're not getting the outcome that we want. As fans, we thought we we're gonna get all this shit exclusive and and yeah. this and that. And we're recounting all the good scenarios, but we didn't count on the bad scenarios that. Somebody invested eighty billion dollars. Yeah, somebody see, Joey, I'm glad you said that. When... Somebody had to pay that shit back. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't think about so, that. It's like we're, we're getting. Oh shit! Yeah, I got the I got the fucking TV, but I get, I can pay next year, and then next year comes, and somebody's like, "Where's my money?" We're like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> well, we're thinking about when we got the shit at the house. <laughs> we didn't think we were gonna start paying this shit. So that's what happened. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's Phil has an eighty billion dollar debt on his back. Yeah, and if Hi-Fi Rush has to go to fucking PlayStation to get some money back, I guess it is what it is. It is what it is, bro. Circumstances Javier, totally Javier, member for twenty months. Phil got the biggest tech acquisition done in past. Enough said. Really trying to downplay what Phil has done is disingenuous. AF, I agree, man. Like, like you don't have to like the guy. You don't have to like him. You don't. But to say he's done nothing for the brand. See, all y'all can think about is, yo, man, where y'all, where the. The games that we want. Where's the PlayStation style of games that we want? You know, it's like, come on, man. The dude had to literally fight to save the brand, but once they say the brand, then they ain't had a budget. Then they ain't had a budget. Now, 2017, then they got a promotion. He like got a late 2017, Phil got a promotion. Then they start buying studios of 2018. A lot of those studios were doing multiplats. You know, so listen, man. I, you know, whatever. Don't let the black mind with the two Xbox has been better every year since 2017. Stop it. I agree, bro. Infernal Dragon with the two is Kendrick start trying out for POS of the week. <laughs> Where Ray Ray at? <laughs> uh, years of lurking with the five non finance dudes struggle to understand Microsoft, not Xbox, is the trillion dollar or Xbox and its own entity. That's yeah, better to that's stand what I said. Own. Yeah, that's why I said. I, uh, Xbox is under a trillion dollar company. Phil is managing a billion dollar company. Yeah, so. like, but he's still under a trillion dollar company. He's he's dealing with a whole bunch of rich people, and do you know how to deal with rich people? They're annoying, and they all they want is money. So, yeah. I so. I still gotta say, uh, hold, 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 uh, hold on, 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 hold and a dying killed any good with the 360 had in a few days, bro. You can't say that anymore. Perfect. He killed that Xbox One reveal, killed any momentum Xbox had. And people get the E3 mixed up. No, the Xbox One reveal, which was like two to three weeks prior to E3 prior, to 2013. Prior, yeah, it was totally it, different. It hurt any momentum Xbox had because remember, PlayStation had their reveal for the PS4 early in the year. Like in February, yeah, like and they show some games. They show kill zone, and yeah, you know what's crazy? That thing was so bad. Fans left, and the media hasn't come back yet. Yep. yep. To this day, <laughs> to this day, <laughs> they still remind us about Xbox One. That's how bad that was. Yeah. Silver Afro, remember for five months, they only want feel fire because he scares the hell out of them. Changing the console war narrative and affecting their influence. Yep. Facts. <laughs> Talk that Man. shit, bro. Yep. Um, I pity PlayStation peasants with the two people who criticize Xbox are people who don't know business. Listen, I'm on the, I'm okay hmm. with the criticism, bro. But people are just jumping out the yo fire field. He he ain't done nothing. He's killing the brand. It's crazy right now, man. We see articles of it. We see Tim Dog lose his mind. Other other former Xbox guys losing their mind and they're, all of they're this, losing faith, right? They're, they're losing faith. 
And um, all of this is just because of some Metacritic scores and console sales. That's all it is. No, 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 no. A lot no, of no, no, for real. Have no, no, think of putting games to other platforms. No, 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 no. But think about it. If games would have been ported to the other console, but Xbox would have been number one in the console sales and all the Metacritic scores would have been fantastic. Anybody who would have been crying? No, a lot of this hate has started, really started when with the games going to other platforms. No, I understand that. But mm -hmm. what I'm saying is the bottom line of all this thing is just because they don't have cinematic who, games who, and console sales. That's who, it. Who, who sells the more console? That's it. Yeah. Dave Reezy, Dave Reezy, remember for three months, Sony and pathetic poor bag and ponies should be counting them days. If Steam going on Xbox Rome is become a reality, this will be a final blow. Yeah, man. Yeah, um, that's yeah, yeah that's something that's very interesting. The angry therapist with the fire. Phil and his team has pushed gaming forward. Every time Sony has bad news, they trash Phil and Xbox. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that funny how that works? It's straight up though. <laughs> Mandingo with the ten. I was able to quarantine Dr. Head, uh, Dr. Hyde, and Dr. <laughs> I mean Mr. Hyde and Dr. Jekyll is in control <laughs> now. I'm hoping to have a reasonable super chat. From a logical perspective, how can anyone say Phil didn't save Xbox? Goofy ponies? Yeah, bro. 100%. Looney Boy, the homie Looney Boy, man, with the five. That's Xbox right. makes yeah, more really? revenue than Windows. Facts. That's a great point we ain't even mentioned. That happened under Phil Spencer. Stop listening to clowns that say Phil is bad for the Xbox. No more that is a great year. That's a great point, honestly. You know how much money Windows makes? Yeah, bro. And they make their number three in at Microsoft now. They're partnered Windows, with, like, who are they put it partnered this way. with? They're partnered with people like the NFL. Like, this, this put it this way. You know how much money Windows makes? They're the default operating system Office? on a computer. Yeah. Office? They are the default. Like, like PlayStation like, is the default worldwide. They're the default. When you buy a computer, it has Windows. And Xbox <laughs> is making more money than that shit. Oh, That's man. why I was saying before, that I don't understand why they couldn't give them another year to do what they want to do. We're trying to make them pull this nonsense. I, it makes no sense. They just had a financial report come out, and it said that's where we got the information from. They went, they make more money in Windows, and someone at the high up was like, "Nah, we need to do this now." I, I still don't understand it. Yep. Uh, Black Mamba, the two have your opinions, but recognize the good though. See, that's the thing. Criticism is fine, but people acting like it's all doom and gloom, man. That just bothers me, bro. They bother. And I'll me recognize, lot. and I'll recognize the good in Don Matrick. He tried to. Move the industry forward by appeasing to casual audiences. He saw Nintendo was all casual. He tried to get that. At least the he tried. At no, least he they, tried. Like, he and I get it. At first, Joy, he succeeded with the connect. That's the true. Connect. Mm -hmm. At least he tried. I can't take that from Don Matrick. Either his direction was totally wrong and he messed up, but at least he tried some. He's yes, not staying he, he tried some, but his focus became TV and, and connect. Where it, this is a gaming console, right? But you know, it is what it is. Jay, remember with the fire, whether you, whether we like it or not, every time Xbox announces a good game that everyone wants to pay play, people will probably wait to see if it comes to PS Five. Oh, that's definitely going to happen, bro. No doubt about it. That used to happen back in the day. <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely going to happen though. F bomb with the five. I want games that use my avatar again. What the hell is that avatar? What like the, the Afro avatar? You don't know the avatar? Oh, the yeah, avatar. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, those games used to be fire, bro. Like, uh, what was it? One versus 100 and uh, the Connect. <laughs> I used to like that shit, though. That needs to come back some type of way. Yeah, Blank 964 to 5. Asking for Don. Back would be like Dirt asking for Matt Millen or Matt Patricia to come back to the Lions. 100%. I know some asking, of you guys don't, don't get that reference, but I definitely get it. Asking for Don is. is like you asking for Crap Gamer to come back. <laughs> Adidas 20 zero to two. Don't see bots complaining about MLB on the box. Hey, you know how it is, man. It's MLB fault. That's what they say. Yeah. Soldier 251, member for 13 months. What up? I mean, WBG, WBG, what up, you POSs? I'm super late for the show because they tried to keep a brother on the plantation. <laughs> keep it green, oh, fellas. Man. Woo oh, man. Thank look you, fam. Bam. Oh, man. Busy, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Look who it is. The long game in podcast. The homie, the black Viking with the two. What's Gucci, gang? What's up, man? Oh, man. You controversial today, ain't you? What's Gucci? <laughs> well, you ain't wrong. Corey ain't wrong, Hale bro. with the <laughs> five memberships. Time, baby. Five Thank time. you, uh, bro. Two appreciate three, that, man. man. Uh, what time is it, man? It's time for us to get out of here, man. You know, um, y'all got any more thoughts about this field stuff before we go ahead and fuck them? That I would say this, um, 
Yeah, Sean, you got some? No, I'll leave it. You guys said enough, bro. <laughs> Sean got to go, man. Sean, you got to go, bro? Yeah, yeah, let me rest. Um, yeah, man. Sean, hey, do us a favor, man. Please, okay. tell me. Tell me. <laughs> Get your punk ass out of here. <laughs> punk. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, shout out to uh, shout out to you guys. Shout out to the chat. Shout out to the six hundred ten people and uh, shout out to the homie there for uh, on the road for twenty k play. Shout out to you. Come on, Sha. Stop on. Oh my. Come on, Sha. <laughs> Come on, Sha. I thought we were gonna talk about it, Jesus. Yes, yeah, Sha. Come on, man. All right, bro. I see you in a bit, man. All right, man. Come on, Sha. Uh, He's messy. He's he messy, man. Yeah. He's messy, man. Ah, oh, bro. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and uh. <laughs> this N word right here, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me see. I'm, what am I supposed to do? Supposed to do? Okay, I'm sorry. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get started, y'all. Let me get the timestamp pro- properly. All right. Remember, this is members only. You want to stop in, say what's up three, three, to us, bots. Three, four. Ain't that right, Joey? Three, four. I need to put put it in the. Uh, members chat but uh let's go man it's that time y'all my man it is time for do you give a shit gaming news for the members i left it on the community tab on youtube if you want to hop in go ahead and hop in uh Lord. that's about it on the go to my name press it go to my page and go to community go only to members that's reinforced dirt <sighs> only members can see it he got a five foot assassin, y'all. He up in here. Hey. Standing up right now. Hey, I am actually. Yeah, you super loud. Yeah, F bomb. Thank you for becoming a member, bro. Shout out to you. Uh, all right, guys. It's time for Do You Give a Shit Gaming News. <laughs> Hellblade Gaming said, I will join, but I'll be lurking. Uh oh shit, there you go. And he, hey, y'all, and he got a shirt on today. Yeah. Man, people. <laughs> Fully dressed. <laughs> Fully dressed. <laughs> what up, yeah. P-Lump? All What's right, good? guys. What's good? Not much, What's man. Good, man. Uh, time for Do You Give a Shit? Gaming news, y'all. May so I ask what this is all about? Well, we work with the home side of it. What? Okay. 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 Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Hey, man, we oh, got p Okay. <laughs> 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 hey, we y'all come, we y'all join. Make sure your background is quiet. Hey, everybody <laughs> stop, bro. That shit was like a movie. Oh man. All right, guys. So um check this out. It seems like the PS5 is doing the exact same thing the Xbox One X did. The PS5 Pro, they're supposed to have if if a game has higher resolution or a frame rate boost, they're calling it PS5 Pro enhanced. Ain't that the same shit Xbox did with the Xbox One X? Exactly. It just they hey PlayStation always copies uh Xbox no oh, matter what it is. Why they copying in third place, Ray Ray? I, I don't know why. They've been doing this since uh PlayStation 3. <laughs> Facts, bro. With the achievements, they uh, come on the dumbass online pro. online, they copied uh Xbox. They just yeah, it just it's a cycle, but nobody see it though. Yeah, so Hey, Nintendo confirms testing layoffs amid first-party lull and reports of Switch 2 delays. So, Nintendo laying off people, too. Ain't nobody talk about that one, though. Nobody give a fuck. Someone press the button. Well, it's no, not bad. No, but, I want to talk about it because people... No, no I'm, just, I'm just saying say, that. No, I'm just no, saying, no, yeah. I'm saying it, nobody gives a fuck. That's why they no, don't talk about it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's true. But uh, people should pay attention because of Nintendo, who has sold their console at a... At a, at a at a profit since they won, mm-hmm. and their games yeah. clearly doesn't look like they spend more than fifty million dollars on it, and they're making buck. Like you, whether you like it or hate it, Nintendo's making buck. They're laying off people. How are they laying like, off people? Like the amount of money they get, they're laying off people, bro. That that's an eye people. opener. People should mm. pay more attention. Like if Nintendo is laying off people, 
Is Nintendo uh, publicly traded? That I don't uh, know. No, no, it's not. Mm, Nintendo yeah, is yeah, actually but... family owned. Hmm. Mm. If you want to say something, Pilo, you can unmute your mic. Like, as long as you got a loud background, bro. <laughs> I can't hear you. Like, you sit on mute. <laughs> Oh, your oh your background. I've been alive? talking. No, no, I I just was telling her. <laughs> okay, I've been talking. <laughs> I, like I saw you moving your lips, but I was like, oh, he, he on mute. <laughs> Joey, what you playing? I'm playing. Uh, what's the name of this shit? Uh, Warhammer bull, uh, bull gun. Bull gun. Oh yeah. Uh, all right. Um. So all right, let's move on. So also, let me talk about layoffs. Ubisoft laid off forty five people today. So we always talk about the gaming industry, and it seems like every time Xbox does something, you know, it's, people, it, it's people grab the magnifying glass and yeah. it's enhanced. But the gaming industry right now, I man, I still feel COVID, the, the, the COVID boom is obviously over now, and some of these companies might have overhired or COVID hired or whatever you want to call it, and uh, it's, it's back, back down to earth, bro, right? So UK uh, sales chart. Uh, I was gonna say something because uh, I made this point Saturday. Mm -hmm. Every week we get bad news about somebody getting canceled, some game getting canceled, or somebody getting laid off. Mm -hmm. But since, but some reason we only magnify Xbox. We should be looking at the broader scale of everybody. But some reason this console war thing, everybody just want to look at one place. But next week is gonna be somebody else. Like right. Ubisoft has what over ten thousand, I think ten thousand employees or something like that. They got just as yeah. much as Activision did. So if they laying off people, just a hey, and then you got places you're not buying no game, so it's not helping. Yeah, yeah you it's the gaming in industry. Mind, man, so. As Xbox fans, we gotta we just, just must understand this. Well, Xbox is not the brand that people like. Period. Oh yeah, we know that. So that's it. We're the villain. We're the villain brand. The Xbox is just it is what it is. Yep. So as a community, we're gonna just live with that. Like, fuck it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hey, so UK sales charts week ending 30th of March. EA sports FIFA or well, FC 24 was number one, Hogwarts Legacy, blah blah blah. Well, well the reason I really brought this up because Rise of Ronan was number 14. Mm. It debuted in number five, but now it's number 14. So which game? Rise of Ronan. <coughs> All right. Bless you. Yeah. You. Fine. Oh, man. So why can't you keep on leaving? Um, Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Three, supposed to be hard at work. Yeah, you know Final Fantasy Part Three. Yeah. Don't nobody okay. give a fuck. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, RMB. That's the Thank clear. you, RMB. <laughs> <laughs> so Tekken Eight players have been expressing frustration at the announcement of new Tekken Fight Pass feature. Players are annoyed that a $70 game, which added a store with microtransactions a month after release, is now adding premium battle passes. This is the world we live in, y'all. This yeah. you know, it's the world we live in, man. Hey, but, did you? Go ahead, man. What oh, on point? this week? I don't know what that is. But this weekend, um, the creator of a Tekken, he, they, somebody asked him to... Uh, at Waffle House. Oh yeah, he saw that. Yeah, <laughs> what? He saw that. <laughs> a Waffle House, which would be hilarious because everybody know Waffle Houses are open. I don't know, late. There's, 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 there's none in Michigan, but I've been to some before in Ohio and Florida. Um, they're open late, and usually that's where the drunk people go after, <laughs> like when they're hungry. Drunk after the people, clubs. Yeah. strippers, either yeah. that or yeah. Denny's. Fight, everybody. Sure. So hey. they're always fighting in Waffle Houses. So exactly. So so the creative tech and didn't get it. He's like, why are people sending me this? <laughs> he ain't, he ain't oh. understand the reference. Hey, they answered it though. He had somebody explained it to yeah. him. And he like he was like, yeah, he like, but he's he basically explained like, hey, this is a public. You know, this is a company. It's a trademark. If they yeah, say they no, can't, he can't do it. Yeah, they can't do it. Just make a restaurant with a yellow roof and something in Japanese. <laughs> Wait, also, just, Waffle. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. So people want it. So people, like, so people want to. So people want a scenario like a, a fight. They <laughs> yeah. and but, look, but look, but look, the Waffle House employees have a uh, a history of being tough too, though. Yeah, they, you yeah, have to be too. at three in the morning with some dumbass people. Yeah. You have to be tough. Some drunk yeah. coming yeah. there like, "Give me my waffles, bitch." They used to, they, <laughs> the, the joke is that's on the application that you got to learn. How to, you got to know how to fight. 
<laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. Uh, our pity PlayStation fans with the two Android fans rejoice. We got a Galaxy A1 on S23. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, a Galaxy AI. I saw that, man. I got to uh, I got to check it out. I yeah. saw I saw that, and they were bragging about how good games run on it, though. Mm. Tell you, man. It's crazy, the, man. The future, the future ain't a console in your house, but a screen in your pocket. That's the future. Yep. <laughs> so, so uh, Sony's Hiroki Totoki officially started his role as I interim CEO. I wonder who's gonna take his place. But Joey, you say you think he's gonna be the one in? in he's in, gonna be there at least a year, trying to I, fix that shit. I think he doesn't trust nobody. <laughs> he's the chief financial officer of Sony, right? I think yeah. because if yeah. if he would if if we would have had at least a contender to be that in that position, that would have been been announced a long time ago. Like yeah. after Jim leaves, we're gonna get like I don't know Herman Holtz or something. Right. But he's been looking at the books. He's been like looking at the business. He's like, hold on, hold on, hold up, wait a minute. Listen, Carl nobody's worried. Carl Weeb told us when they get. The, I think it was Carl Weeb or maybe I said it was that Boy. They said when they put the money man. In that uh -huh. position, there's mm -hmm. some financial issues, and that's, you got to fix it. That's why I keep saying, if you think, if let the ponies keep laughing at Xbox for all the moves they're making to stay alive in the gaming industry, wait till Sony finally comes down with the decisions they have to, not want to, have to do, and let's see who's laughing in. When everything goes to PC day and date, with stuff, more stuff starts going across the way. When they can't hold on to exclusives, third party exclusives, and see what they have to say. I promise you, it's going to happen. Yeah. So. And he's a CFO and a CEO, right? Yeah, he is. Yeah, boy. Yeah. yeah, so, uh, so, hey, man. So there's some. Listen, it could be a uh, uh, April Fool joke. Probably. Tell me if you guys heard this, and is it an April Fool joke or not? That Resident Evil One remake. No, no, it's fake. It's fake. It's fake. It's, it's fake. fake. Okay, okay. I wasn't I sure. It was, I thought it didn't it come out like a day before, like yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was like yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. it pissed me yeah, off too. It's like motherfucker because Resident Evil One, even though we already had a remake. Yeah, we did, but this was, but it ain't look like the other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's like, well, it it yeah. was a font and a zombie. It's close of a zombie. That's not hard fake. Like, yeah, but it looked good though. Like the <laughs> whole <laughs> image about the league. It I looks like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, is this? That's why I hate Apple's Fool Day. I was like, is this fake? I don't know, man. It's a damn. Did annoying. you see the one that people thought was fake but was actually real with Sonic and IHOP? Which one? Oh, is that real? Yeah, that's real. I thought Which one? Like, I, I hop all the time, bro. No, Sonic. <laughs> what they got? Uh, Sonic doing, like pancake doing, or something? Yeah, Sonic is doing a cross promotion with IHOP. They got like pancakes. Knuckle has like a sandwich. Tails has something. Like, I, I thought it was fake, but that was, oh, like, that's cool. like, that was real. Oh, okay. April Fool's Day is the worst day to advertise something. Oh, though, but, you know. God, bro. Yeah. And they do it, though, which is weird. Um, so seems... we mentioned Forza Horizon has reached. Forza Horizon 5, I'm sorry, has reached um, 38 million players. So mm. shout out to Playground, and I can't wait to see Fable. Yeah. Fable. I sincerely hope you can customize and make your own character because that girl. But I, I feel like I feel like four still has like a big player base, like four? Horizon four. Yeah. Like with the, well, the weird, I didn't put as much time into five as I did the other one. Four exactly, you know yeah. The weather system. I put the most time in the three, bro, though. Bro. You know what's weird? I have. I like the weather system. system. I ain't like the snow. I like it. You play a lot of fall. I ain't like the snow. Yeah. I've been playing a lot of five. I always. What about play. dirt? My go-to game. Dirt. Who gives a fuck about? But <laughs> Horizon. <laughs> five, five, you know what the thing is? Through. I was. We were playing Horizon Four because we we're in COVID. We were locked down. So we were, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, oh, I, I honestly, I was using it like like it was like kind of therapy for me. I was like, I'm just gonna drive around. But you know, but Joe, <laughs> every time I play five, like, this game is freaking amazing, bro. It I play it on my S. Incredible. I have my S on my family uh, in my family room. I play it up there sometimes. Like, damn, this game looks amazing, even on the S, bro. You know why people ain't playing as much? Because everybody's still waiting for that um, Japan version. Do you yeah, remember the trailers for that game though? Like it, it went from like, it oh yeah, it's, yeah, it's just the trailer. Like no, and then it went straight into the game, and it looked this, the same. Yeah, that the game is incredible, incredible, bro. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to Fable come out, man. See what they got. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Banishers. Now, I remember when I remember I asked the question, y'all said Banishers. It might not be a triple A. So the, What's the, the narrative so like the narrative director said it was made in four or five years, but it's not a triple A. 
is Banisher? a nicely crafted double A. If we can get double A games like Banisters, I'm all for that, bro. Because that double, game was amazing. Double A games are great too. That might be the yeah. future. Like, yeah, hey, yeah, you double A double A games that look like triple A games. I think is going to be the way forward. Hellblade Two. Oh I still believe Hellblade Two is a double A game. Psychonauts. Oh, amazing game. Bro. Psychonauts Two. That's a game of the year quality right there. That's put it this way. Hey, put it this way. I, I really don't care. Like, uh, uh, play still. I'm playing right now. I do. You know why I care? Why? Because if they can make high quality double A games like Banishers, that game, I'm telling you, I could see the double A, but but it had triple A quality to me. Right. But, but if they can make all you're talking about is graphics. Hold on. Let me hold on. Hold on. Hold on. If they can bro. finish, I mean, if they can make a game of that quality on a double A budget, it will benefit the industry. True. Dirt. Fact. Let me, let me um let's just call that what it is. The, the reason we say it, it looks triple A is because the graphics. That's it. Yes. It's on UE5, UE4. It could be a it could be game running on, on the top tier engine, which is UE5, but it's a single player game. It's probably not open world. It's probably a lot of stuff, not that much stuff to do, but it's a good solid game. That's what that's mm-hmm. that's the trick. Because let's be honest, there are a lot of places in games that just look good, but it's like gameplay wise and story wise and content wise, it falls flat. Same thing. Hey, look, Carl Weeb said Hellblade 2, High Fire Rush, Allen Wake 2. Y'all trip uh double A games, Plague's Tale. Like Justin Boozer yeah. said, Plague's Tale. Amazing. Yeah. And that's a double A game, bro. We yeah. get more double A games like that. They say hell, hell divers, hey, hell divers had an eight-year development cycle. Is that yeah. game a double A? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'd, I'd say Hellblade One was a double A. Hellblade I'm two sorry. is definitely true. No, hell divers opinion. had an eight-year development cycle. As far as the comic goes, I was saying. Hell, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, Torino Johnson. Don't mind. As long as the game is happy good and birthday. the gameplay is fine, I'm happy. happy <laughs> Torino Johnson said, "My birthday is today." And people th- think I'm a damn joke because it's April Fool's. Damn! <laughs> oh, shit. Happy birthday! I'm sorry, man. Oh. Happy birthday! <laughs> happy birthday! <laughs> I knew somebody that's their birthday too. Yeah, uh, some oh, twins actually. No. Call weed with the five. The media didn't single question it either. Imagine if Phil stepped down and Amy Hood took over. When the money oh people God. take over, the house is on fire. So it was Carl Weave that told me that. He said, when the money people take over, it's issues, man. But don't might want to talk about it, though. Not Amy, though. The Amy can't take over. That would have been bad. No, no, Tim Stewart. Like, if Tim Stewart took over, it'd be a mess. Mm-hmm. Um, so, all right. Uh, Silent Hill 2 Remake, guys, has been rated by the ESRB. Oh, Trash. shit, that game might be dropping this year. Uh, Looking at the... Uh, mm. commentary online i'm seeing the old school silent hill players saying it's like a light version of it because it doesn't people have been saying this about the one stu- uh studio the core team that made silent hill one through like four mm-hmm. they, they were special with how they get it because they make you no know, art and games and heavy themes and or yeah ever since they left they say no one's been able to duplicate what they were able to do with the early silent hill games mm. I remember when, when they went to different teams for Silent Hill yeah. games and they didn't do as well. Yeah. They say so, no one has been able to duplicate what they did, and I think this is going to be another example of that. What's and the I, studio I making it again? Uh, is it Bloober? Bloober. I well, like medium though. Really good with the medium. They did really good Ooh. with the, uh. What what's the uh, one about the painting? Uh, painting. The painting. Uh, I didn't like. Not, I, I, did, uh, I didn't like. Oh, I know what you're I talking about. I can't remember name. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't think of the name. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, layers of they fear. Made, they made us. Yeah, layers of fear. Like they did really good with the first yeah. one. I didn't play they the second one, but the first one was actually really good. True, they do I'm good. I'm careful for that Blair Witch game, bro. I, so I Blair Witch was Blair Witch was okay. Yeah, I, I, I that, that. that was definitely double A, like low budget double A. Yeah, they're they're good, but that's the team silent. That's what their name was. From the music to the themes to how they designed it, there's just no one's been able to touch what they were able to do. Yeah, I like Blooper Team too. So, um, so we'll see what happened. That showing that they had at that last state of play, it looked trash. But we'll see mm-hmm. what happened when the game drops later. That year, demo probably. game where it was like it was like Silent Hill, but for the internet. Yeah, they say that was that, trash. That shit was dumb. And they said as a rumor that might come to Xbox. Yeah, yeah, that's the medium, uh, the medium too. too. The medium. Hey, so Godzilla and Kong, too. the new empire, had grows 194 million worldwide, biggest movie Jeez. in 2024. So, so people. Was like, 80 in the US. Uh, yeah, it was 80, like 80, 80 million. million. Yeah, yeah, I ain't get the chance to go see it. I actually want to see it so because I didn't care too. for the last one. What was the last one called? Kong oh, yeah. Godzilla, wasn't it? Yeah, I ain't care for that one. Yeah. But I do want to see this one though. I heard this yeah, one good. Hey, it, it's a rumor 
I don't know how true it is because it came from uh I think Zuby Tech and somebody used him as a quote <laughs> as a source that Uncharted Nathan Drake collection hey. remastered is coming. Hey, um, I was about your oh shit. Like, Who on the phone? I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say, don't, uh, don't nobody give a shit about that news. Is that Joe? No, it's probably R and B. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think Uncharted one, two, three makes sense to uh reboot. Um, I mean to remake. To, I mean to that's what PlayStation does. They remaster and remake old games. Yep. Because that's they can't put out new ones. Yeah, so CD Projekt Red C- CFO said you don't see no microtransactions in single player games. I think that makes sense. Trash. Yeah. Oh, so Special Nick said only Uncharted One, not the all three. I think that makes sense though. Honestly, I really think Uncharted One being remade makes sense. Unlike The Last of Us Two, <laughs> that didn't make sense to be remade. Uh, Jazz said that um. Xbox World Studio, they have greenlit a new project. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. They do like oh, World Edge. Games. Yeah, they make the strategy games, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They make um, yeah, yeah. Did y'all see what they remake though? I, I kind of like strategy games. I can't even front. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what what they green what they greenlit a new project. What's the name? Of? What what Did they show the name said, of the game one? What just no, said no, he's, not, he's not gonna say uh-huh. anything. Yeah, but he's oh. like this time us. Xbox fans will be real excited when we know. Wait, well, I think then, about it. And, but then, the then, then Randall said, but everything you like, nobody else likes. It so could be Heroes yeah. of the Storm. Let me think dope. about it. He did like leak a couple games too early. Like that Wu-Tang he game. He hyped up Pentiment like a mother. He did hype up Pentiment. But Towerborn. He, he, yeah, Towerborn. But he leaked out that Wu-Tang game too early and that um, Dragon game from IO Interactive too early, bro. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Jim Ryan, I don't know if y'all saw what Jim Ryan said before he retired that the PS2 has sold 160 million. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? Girl, you you break it up a little bit. <laughs> What'd you say? Who, <laughs> who in that right mind? What? Am, am I yourself? Yeah, yeah. you're yeah. here. Who in the fuck is still playing <laughs> buying PlayStation 2s? I, listen, I don't know. I said this on Twitter. I said, look, man, they see the Nintendo Switch catching up, getting close, and they all oh, shit, it's add five more million on this boy. That's what I'm <laughs> hey, man, They pulled five million out their ass they in 2024. Literally, they literally like, pulled it out their ass, bro. Like, oh. talking about... Yeah, no Diddy. Uh, so you you got you, like, like what, 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 didn't the uh, PlayStation Three come out in what? Oh six? No, PlayStation Oh two. Came out in oh six. Yeah. No, he's talking. You know, I know you talking about two, but I'm just saying when did three come out? We on five right now. Two came out in two thousand, bro. Yeah, we on five right now. I don't know. Them numbers. And and why did he wait till the last day to to announce that? I don't know. Come man. on, that's something don't say right, bro. What the- Game trailers uh-huh. did that on their last day before they closed down. They changed the changed the uh uh score to some game. It was some PlayStation game they changed the score to. It was yeah. Uncharted 4. <clears throat> there you go, then. Uncharted 4. The girl who did on the review Uncharted 4 got so much backlash because she didn't rate it at, at 90. I remember that. I remember that, yeah. So they had to change it internally and put it back to 90. I remember just, that. Yeah. Oh my god! Boy. Hey, um, Jazz Corden said that he, he, like you said, he saw some reports that the Surface team has totally taken over Xbox hardware development. He said that's not true. Jason Rano is still leading the charts, but they work together at, at, in the tandem. So that could definitely mean that. Uh, I, I think the Surface team is in charge of the handheld. That's a, that is what it is. I, yeah, They're, that's what I'm thinking. They have yeah. the PC components. They know how to put things in smaller and uh, compact. You know, hardware. Maybe it, the, the 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 handheld is going to have some kind of Windows integration into it, so mm-hmm. in order to have Steam. You know, so they're the best team to do so. If you have the team and they're not doing anything, put them to do something. Earn your fucking salary. Make yep. the handheld. It is what it so is. So if they did the handheld, how much is going to cost? And will they do two like a S and a regular Xbox? Which I think. No, I think the the two SKU is going to be the handheld and the the Monster the Next awful Series box. Next. Yeah. So, are they gonna cost the same? Uh, no, no. I'm sure the handheld be a little, little lower. I think next gen. I mean, like there was it the uh, the Steam Deck's like five five hundred, right? Brand new. Yeah, well, you could get a three ninety nine, the 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 smaller one. So you think like, they'd be like three ninety nine? Yeah. 
Xbox, but if, if it's, Xbox, if it's gonna play yeah. Xbox games or if it's gonna play the same games, the Xbox has gotta have the SSD and all that stuff in it, though, right? Yeah, so it's gonna have yeah, all that's that a good stuff, point. You know. Yeah, that's a good point. The, the thing I always think about because Phil kind of said it, they're trying to do stuff without subsidizing that much. Mm. So they can subsidize the console, but I don't know how much they're willing to subsidize this time. So maybe look next gen, the big console is gonna be six hundred dollars. It's not gonna be five. I agree. I'm counting on Ooh. I'm counting on six hundred straight up, I and agree. that may and maybe the the handheld, uh, it's gonna be like four ninety nine, maybe three fifty. Yeah, possibly. It, it's, I think it's, the PS five Pro is gonna be six hundred. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I mean, I want to see what that's, w- gonna that's gonna be ridiculous. Yeah. yeah um, so. All right, y'all. So uh, I don't know if y'all heard this amazing news, but Predator Hunting Grounds is coming to Xbox and PS five in late twenty twenty four. Y'all, but y'all might not remember, but Ponies was hyping that game up until they played the demo. <laughs> they was like, "Whoa!" whoa. Game died for I, remember, I remember, I remember yeah. watching the stream of uh, what is it, Z? Yeah. 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 yeah, I was there. Yeah, I, yeah. Was there. I was in there. I was talking shit there. That shit I was, was hilarious. In- he was like, "Whoa, ejecto cut, <laughs> yeah, that game was trash, bro. But I was actually in the stream. So, hey, I was laughing my fucking ass. So this is I'm like, come hilarious. on. <laughs> yeah, it's funny stuff, man. Um, a couple more, then we'll get out of here and embrace her. Um, and then embrace her, still gearbox, and, gearbox and then lay some people off the next day. <laughs> That's messed. Up. I should be like, no, no, no. Um, 2K, 2K bought, uh, uh, um, take two. Bought I mean, yeah, embracer. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, take no, two no, bought, not embrace her, take two, bought bought gearbox, gear. and then they lay some people off the next day. Like, is man. Randy Pitchford still there? Yeah, no, he is. I don't think like, so. I, I, is he? Yes, I don't it. think so. I think so, yeah. So, so did you guys see Marvel Rivals, a, a new 6v6 team-based PvP hero shooter? Yeah, I saw that. I What'd saw you that. Think? Yeah, I, I think it's CG. I'll, I'll say this. No I'll say it. The art style looks fine. It looks good to me. But one, the game is being done by NetEase. NetEase is a mostly a mobile game yeah. type of developer. So I'm expecting servers not to the work, not going to work day one. Uh, microtransactions out of their ass. Uh, Battle Pass is going to be fucking crazy, and there's going to be some kind of controversy with like pay to win, and it's going to be they're going to be like fucking hackers like crazy. So (laughs) I'll wait and see. I'm not really doing the moon now. Let me say this. Now, let me say this. My my daughter, it's a multiplayer game. What do you expect? Now, let me say this. My daughter loves Overwatch too, right? She loves it. I sent her that trailer and point. she she's interested. She's okay. I might I might give it a shot. It it looked good to her, you know. Like I said, she's an Overwatch fanatic, so she was like, okay. Yeah, get ready for the microtransactions, bro. It's gonna be crazy. Hey, so GameStop has confirmed job cuts amid what uh analysis has called an unsustainable sales decline. I hope the homie uh but but well, gaming forte, all right. Hold for on. real. Apart yeah. from gaming forte, I hope he's he's all right. Mm. I thought PlayStation was selling so much, and the world is, is, is <laughs> the world is just rejoicing they act, out their sales. <laughs> like, oh my god, PlayStation is is carrying the economic world. Like, they, Jerry, they, they, Jerry, what? What? The Last of Us cured cancer. That's how what? greatness works. They're, I don't, I don't know what you don't understand about warehouse. Ah, <laughs> oh, Reggie. Uh, Reggie, <clears throat> I clear your throat. Something was down hey, there before, right? Hey, Joey, mm-hmm. you just mad because Xbox don't sing. Joey, okay, okay. Even, even when I was locked up, all of my niggas in the um, cell with me. Man, <laughs> PS5. Yo, you're white, bro. What, yo, Joey? Shut up, Joey. I've been locked up. I, I can talk. I want to talk punk. Okay. We have PS5s in jail. We ain't have Xboxes. Uh, you know what? I actually believe you, though. <laughs> Where I go? Joey. Yeah. What you wearing? What the fuck you want to know? What the fuck, Dirt? What's the hell? No, 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 <laughs> no, Diddy. Hey, Joey. Oh, damn. I should say something about P. Diddy. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Yo, for, you the, 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 the what show. you just said about they had PS5 in jail, that's actually yeah. true. I know somebody is in jail right now. How? <laughs> what kind of jail? That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sonic Heroes remake is reportedly being considered by Sega. That'd be fire. Yeah, 
That that was my, remake uh, Adventure uh, One uh, and Two, motherfucker. Uh, Joe, here, right here, here, but but honestly, though, here, 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 here. this fire though. Um, it takes two has sold over sixteen million copies since launch. Bro, that game was fire. Well, well deserved. That that game was fucking amazing. Yeah, that game was uh. So X Men ninety seven hit four million views in five days. Big fans. That's, um, I, I watched it? the first four episodes. Is it three episodes? This for yeah, what? I you know I I I love the one back in ninety two, so of course I love this one. It's pretty good, man. So far, pretty good. Um, so Pedro Pedro Pascal has finished filming The Last of Us season two, and people was like, "Of course he's done finish <laughs> finish filming season two. You remember part two? Remember the game?" <laughs> well, they also said that he's not done filming, though. He's still. Oh, they didn't. Oh, okay. So I'm like, all right, the delaying is death. Yeah, they. Well, they should. Yeah, they yeah, should. yeah. For the, yeah, for yeah the because people. nobody's gonna watch that show without him. Like, for right. Real. Constantly have flashbacks. You know what I'm saying? Get the like the game, because <laughs> he got killed the first hour and they didn't have flashbacks. Uh, Brutal. Part three gonna have flashbacks too, right? They got to, unless part two was a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, man, with the two the Xbox should let you know uh name your own co your own co-pilot for next gen UI. Hmm. hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I, I mean, you know, options are cool, I guess. So it's the same, it's what Plus, we're man. doing that we're doing the same thing, like Xbox. We're doing the same thing, but with co-pilot now. <laughs> <laughs> I do kind of miss Xbox record that. I do too, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm Xbox on. on. I, I, I no, because like people in game would like say that shit through the mic. They, they, yeah, they like, used to say that, and it makes you up. Like, yeah, turn off the game. I just miss uh, playing 2K, and they pissing me off because a badass foul. I start cussing and start get it give me a foul or a tick or some shit. Bro, that was yeah. listen. That was on the original Connect on the 360. I never forget, bro. I was playing one of them 2Ks. I don't know, 10 or 11. I, My wife I said not- something in the background, and it said technical foul, but she ain't even cussed though. But they thought she did. He said technical file. I was like, yo, that's the sweetest thing I've ever seen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's the sweetest thing I've ever seen. All right, guys. I am not going to call my co-pilot Reggie. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. It's time to get out of here, man. Thank you for rocking out with us today. Um, you know, listen, I, I'll be honest. Um, I've seen, you know, this is a slow time. A lot of people's numbers are down. Uh, my my regular video numbers are down, but you guys still come out here, man. You know we got pretty much at seven hundred. We got a like, real close to seven hundred, and uh, you know, and Almost I appreciate 20, you guys. Though. Huh? Oh, come on, Joey, stop it! Oh, <laughs> come on, Joey, stop! Uh, you know, so this is a slow time. Everybody numbers are down right now, but you guys uh, still came to show up. Had seven hundred live viewers. Shout out to you guys, man. I appreciate you. But that's about it. RB, what's going on with you? All right, thank you, RB. Mm. Five foot assassin. What's going on with you, brother? Hey, you know, XTC on Wednesday. Come check us out. We have a good time. Sometimes we go off the rails, but hey, it's all fun. We have fun out there. Sometimes, all the time. All the time. Hey, that would make it fun. <laughs> that would make it fun. <laughs> the they like it. Hey, the Kendrick Star, what's up with you, bro? All right, hold on. Hold on. So let me let me say this. Let me say Uh-oh. this. Uh oh. <laughs> can you give me one? Can you give me one two minutes? Mm-hmm. All right. So look, I know everybody they be listening to pony Instagrams and all that stuff. That's not me. I don't listen to Instagram. The reason why I don't like Phil is because I don't think he's a good manager of people or his teams. Okay. Right. That's that's my thing. Like I don't think the Xbox Series X launch was that good. I think the Halo rollout was bad. Redfall, all that stuff. That's execution. That's why I don't like Phil. Not all the other stuff you hear ponies talk about. It's execution. The tools, when we talk about when the stuff came out, the tools, that stuff should have worked. I got a project due this weekend. If my stuff ain't done right, I'm in trouble. I'm scared that I'm going to get fired. Bonnie Ross was in there. When did Bonnie Ross hear the Halo for a while? Yeah. Yeah. She was in there messing it up. For how long? Who knows? He didn't do nothing about it. My, Same my- thing. We kept saying tools. That's why I don't like Phil. And I think that goes all the way back to Xbox One. I don't care about the games on PlayStation. He got to do what he got to do to survive. I just hope he got some master plan and all this that is going to turn everything around. Because all the people falling away on Xbox, I'm not blaming them. I blame Phil because they ain't falling away for no reason. It's stuff Phil's doing with the Xbox brand that's making them leave. 
That's why I don't like fear. That's but it. That's fair it's, criticism, though. You didn't. Yeah, that's my reason. criticism. That's fair. That's fair criticism. That that's fair. That's I'm all. Not, I'm, that's it. Oh, okay, that's right. I, I got some. I got some. Hold on. Hold okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. I, I want to hear this. Okay. okay. I, no, no, no. I'm a, I'm a big. I'm a, I got it. All right. You said about the lunch, right? You said lunch. Who lunch? Yeah. Xbox One. Uh, Don Matrick. Okay. How bad was that lunch? It was bad. Real bad. Was, was it the worst lunch that Xbox <laughs> ever had? No, I probably said I'd been the original Xbox. Yeah, that shit didn't turn on, but that was not the launch. That was but that wasn't no, that wasn't the launch. That was that was the oh, reveal. <laughs> but yeah, but I'm hearing people just like you screaming for Donnie D right now. I'm not Dunny, capping for Donnie D. I'm not. I'm I, just heard, I heard you cap for Donnie D before. Listen, listen. I, I said he can't, he had good games and he good, look. All his games came out. Or hey, who you think? Wait a minute. Who you? Point is, is that I don't think Donnie D should come back. That's not what I'm saying. I, I won't get, get what I'm saying for, right. What I'm saying is. Stop blaming Donnie D for everything that happened afterwards. What I said is when we you fucked up with Nintendo, they came out with the Switch and they going game buses. Hey, let me ask he, you a question. Three, he has three. Wait, hey, give me one second. Question, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, let me ask go you a question. Go ahead. If you inherited a house that was towed up, needed yes. a new roof, needed new floors, yes. mm -hmm. you know, was 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 gutted. You needed a hot water tank. You need, you know, it was gutted. Mm-hmm. Now, maybe you didn't have the, the proper funds to fix the home how you wanted to. It took right. you three, four years to get the house in good shape. Are you still blaming yourself for four years of, 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 of trying to fix the house up? Or are you still no. mad that you got the house? No, I, I ain't blaming nobody. That's part of the plan. It was messed up when I got it, so I got a plan to fix it. So if the plan take longer... That most people think it should does that mean that the person is, is wrong because it took longer than you should but the evidence is there that the home is being fixed the home might have had uh you know two bedrooms or, or like a half a bath and y'all enhanced they gave it two baths my point is when he you know got the house the house bro the xbox was in a bad spot you just don't realize how bad it was i agree in. i agree i agree I, I do and i'm not arguing that point i'm not arguing that point i don't think it's bad as y'all making it sound like it's it's oh no it's worse because i'm saying i think the ps3 when it launched was in just the same spot and i think the wii u was in PS3 the same spot was in bad spot if the ps4 would have failed playstation would probably be third party exactly the only yeah, difference yeah, is microsoft yeah. got more money no but, but i get yeah. Kendrick. but that my point is i'm gonna go back Go back to what Dirt was saying with the house. But if I'm Phil and I say, look, we just fixed this door. We want to show this door off to everybody. And then the door fall off. And that's the reveal of Halo. Right? When everybody's talking about Craig, that's not good. That's yeah. Phil. He saw that. He green light that. <laughs> right? Red ball. He saw that and said, let's do this. This is good enough to go out. Okay, those are well, fair criticisms right there. That's That's all my thing. That's my criticism with Phil. Um, one, do do one thing I do want to get on people that they say the, the lunch of Xbox One, those games, right? Yeah. They say those was done again. Who was in charge of games back then? I think it might have been Phil. Phil was hard. Oh, no, no, I know it was Phil. Or something. I know it was Phil. So that lunch was Phil lunch. But y'all get people get You can say that, game. but what happened then? When you tell me what happened, he was Why there one then. We can tell it was Phil's games, but at the end of the day, Donnie D wasn't the head of, of everything. He was going to take the right. credit or the blame for everything, right? And the same thing Correct. is happening right now. It could have been 100%. Uh, uh, what's the studio's name? Uh, the one that did Red Fall? Uh, Arcane. Arcane. Yeah. It could have been 100% Arcane's uh, Austin's fault, but Phil is going to take the blame either way. And and and, yeah. and, and it's fine because as he's, head, he's the head. He's gonna be checking on that shit, and those are fair criticisms. Phil has not and, been and perfect, they, uh, and his tenure, and his tenure, and his tenure. I think he has more good things done to the grand, and fewer bad things. But the fewer bad things are really like black eyes. Like you shouldn't have those things happen to you, and maybe constant. But if it wasn't Phil there, I would. What, you would what, have what as well. I don't think it, we're gonna it, have it, 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 That's why I'm still giving him credit. That's why I'm still giving him credit. But right now, the fan base. 
No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. But right now, I, I could give you this. And this is also my thought with Phil. Phil, now you have the studios. Now you have the budget. Now you have everything behind you. I don't, you should not fuck this up anymore. Right. I'm, I'm letting, I'm letting slide the four games. One more like this. I'm not jumping ship, but maybe I'll say, you know what, Phil? I think somebody else should take the flag. Maybe someone else should take the flag. Maybe you're tired. And Me personally, I don't care about the games. I'm just saying, I just what I'm saying. He got ABK. He got Bethesda. He got all this stuff. Are we, is it at least time we can say, okay, so let's stop blaming Don for everything and all the stuff in the Xbox One. Phil has enough where he can move forward and make his own path. And you know, carve his own path without blaming other people, and all the blame should be on him. <coughs> Can we at least? He, when does that start? Every, hey, every Ken, one that thing you forget. Ken, we always blame for everything. Ken, it's one thing you forget. Was it? We didn't bring up Don Matthew. The haters did. They're the ones that brought up Don Matthew. Said uh, Xbox to bring Don Matthew back. I saw a couple uh, tweets. No, I can I can show you now if you want me to. I don't tweet. No, I don't, I don't the tweet. No, I know, no, I know no. you don't, but the reason Don Matcher mm. came up again this past weekend because I saw several people said Don Matcher was better than Phil Spencer. He, I mean, he's better stuff. at putting out games. That's about it. I mean, whoa, whoa, he wasn't whoa, whoa, like, whoa. He, he messed he up Xbox Connect One. games <laughs> and left the Xbox One. What games? Like honestly, what games? All those games, games what all those, all those games were in process. Yeah, he, those were Don yeah, he put out connectables. Remember, he put out Skittles. he put out connectables. Remember that? Yeah, he put out connectables. Yeah, he was a connect guy. Connect. Hey, I know we talk about connect and we joke about connect, but let's not forget when connect came out, it was the biggest uh, uh, electronic device ever. And Bigger than I iPhone. Like it's no more than iPhone. Let's and not forget. That, I know we hate on it now. now we look Xbox. back See, on it. Look, yeah, hold on. Look. And even I said it was fool's go. It was fool's go. Yeah, Just like yeah. Sony with their with their first party, third party games, whatever look movie games they got. That's fool's go because that stuff's gonna run them dry. They run. They seven years behind Xbox right now. Where Xbox was when at the end of Xbox One, that's where they're gonna be at the end of this generation. Like, what do we do now? That's I, like they seven years behind. The only thing happened is Xbox fell first. Nintendo, they doing their own thing. That's what I'm saying. Only thing I, I just want to see Phil execute. I want Phil to say this game's coming out, and I want that game to come out good. I want Hellblade Two to be amazing, right? And somebody mentioned, I didn't even think about that. This game's coming out next month. I didn't even know it because I don't see it no more. I mean, is that Phil? Is that me? Am I wrong for saying that? Yeah, start. They will start advertising it the closer. You're talking about like Matt Booty and Aaron Greenberg. Well, let me like say this. this. Let me say this. No, um, I, 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 Greenberg, in my opinion, should be kicked out a long time ago. In my opinion, but whatever. Right, like that's they're, they're advertising is. Let, no, let me say this one thing. I keep on like that's not what I'm about to say. That's you said the job. connect was dope. Yeah, the, yeah. See, the connect was dope, but you were missing the point. Don Matrick focus was the connect. You correct. It was an amazing bro. I still have my connect. Well, I, well, I I bought another one off of eBay and we played occasionally at my house. They the point was people don't talk about some of this either. Bungie left on Don Matrix watch. Um, Bungie was huge back then, right? They left on Don Matrix watch. See, like I mm -hmm. said, we brought up Don Matrix because these ponies. Brought him up this past weekend, bro. A few people brought up Don Matthew saying Phil is terrible. Phil needs to go bring back Don Matthew. And I'm like, they're really bringing up. But now we mentioned Don Matthew before, of course. But the focus on Don Matthew was, was this weekend. And it was crazy. It was crazy. But right. let me say, Aaron is short. I mean, I mean, not Aaron. Um, Like my, my, my super chat was somebody else before that, before my super chat said that Don Matthew. They blame everything on Don Matrix, and that's all I'm saying. I'm just saying. Which also, you got to remember, Terry Martin. Yeah, but we blame everything on Phil too. One thing before you like, but Phil's the guy. Phil's the head guy. Like, but but you got when the time. We go, go, go. I I would say, why would people blame Don Matrix for the Xbox? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Kendrick. You mentioned the Xbox One launch wasn't as bad as it seemed, bro. They was about to get rid of the Xbox. Do you see this? Like, you see my screen screen right now. Now, can I ask you this? Now, this this I do see the screen, but this is something I want to say. The Xbox tax was harder during Xbox One launch than any other time, 
Like, like no one, no one had it worse than Don Metric, and it was unfair. Don Metric opinion. didn't have it. Don Metric left by three three. So no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying real quick. When that when he was doing the announcement, what's his name? What's uh, Keely came up there. What yeah. about the sailors on the sub? Who gives a fuck about a sailor in <laughs> yeah, the ocean? Right. And, and three thousand leagues under the blue. You no, right. You can't ask someone, bro. bro. You right. No, hold you on. That wasn't. But that wasn't. Is, ex- that wasn't. Go ahead. Ex- go ahead. Fact, man, what that was was people did not like the rumors or what they said that you have to be connected to the internet. I understand it. You're right. I agree. I agree. I agree. But what I'm saying is, it was overdone because DRM was already on PC. Hell, this is all, all, all the consoles now. But this is same thing with Connect. This is same thing with Connect on consoles, though. Same thing with Connect. When Connect came out, everybody was talking about all this spying on you. It, it's checking you, it's going to be recording you and all that stuff. They were doing all that. Even, uh, I think, when Watch Dogs came out, they even had a little clip in there where they had like a little device that looked like a Connect was in there spying on you, like that. Like, Xbox got more Xbox hate than, than any other time. And some we of also- it was warranted, some of it was. We also have to understand that back then, when the whole thing at Connect, people didn't trust it either. It's because Edward Snowden came out also telling everybody, whistleblow, that everybody was being spied yeah. out of all everybody's devices. And then Xbox comes up with a Connect, and everybody's like, oh, hold on. So they hated Xbox once again. And so hold on, hold on, you have to understand hold on, that fucking context out of everything, what happened yeah, also. Why the- I heard you, I heard you, but right after that, they went and bought Echoes. Brother Kendrick, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't April Foolness, are you? I mean, I'm not, no, no, this is him all the time. This is him all the time. This you tell me where I'm wrong. I ain't, tell me where I'm wrong. I'll tell you what. I can tell you right where I'm wrong. Right? Easy. What Go happened ahead. after Don Matrick, What happened after he left Xbox and then he went to Zynga as the CEO and ran Zynga right after? I think he got, what he got fired immediately. He got fired immediately. Why did he get fired? He didn't do a good job. Exactly. He ran him into the ground. What they gotta what do with what with Xbox and, and what they gotta do with Xbox? He almost yeah. ran them into the ground. Phil had to save Xbox, bro. He literally so, had to so save look, I'm not, but Phil see, y'all argue, y'all really make good. a strong man. I never said that Don Metric launched the Xbox in this great condition and it was great. I'm that like, is not my point. My point ain't that. My point is is that let's stop blaming Don X Don for everything that's happened to Xbox now. That is my point. But you also not, gotta put in hand that. Right after Dunn left, who did Phil have to deal with? He had to have Terry Miser for three, four years. So he was handicapped. Okay. He was handicapped for a while. Fine. All right. Listen, I got to go, man. And besides, right. we're not the four games. Who's mentioning Don Matrick? Everybody's like Phil and Sarah I and Matt. Yes. Oh, the fuck you doing? You, I can show y'all a couple of uh, uh, tweets if y'all think I bullshit. Don't do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Tony's the one that brought up Don Matrick. It's not us. We're, I'm not we're, seeing we're, bring Don Matrick. That, that's not me. Don Matrick, he, he messed up the launch of Xbox. He was primed to be number one and he, he fumbled the bag big time. Yeah, but earlier I heard you say that Don Matrick had to do with Connect. Connect was all. Wait, what'd you say? Was all, oh, yeah, that's not wasn't him. was the dude's name? That was I couldn't, that was a, I couldn't hear what you mean. I couldn't. What's the name? I'm sorry, Peter Moore. Can you hear me now? Peter Moore yeah. was living off of Connect, and then Don Matrick moved in and then made it the entire focus of Xbox One. And then when he did that, that's what killed the brand. It's that I simple. agree. I agree. So anything he did was because he's a suit who didn't know better, and he was just riding coattails. That's who Don Matrick was. Don Matrick well, see, was basically is- 2013's version of uh of uh, the, the PlayStation guy. You know, the that just got fired. That's who he was. I, I agree with you, but you got to remember, he was doing what the people above him were saying, too. You know the name that was called Xbox One. Why was it called the Xbox One? It's supposed to be the, the thing in your living room that's supposed to uh to be, uh, what's it, your hub or your, your house? All in all one. Stuff. Mr. Star, I'll agree with you. So here's what I'll say. Phil's been doing what he's been told since day one. And Satya told him, hey, we are good at um, being a, you know, hey, what you call them company? A company that does all the service stuff company. with services. Right. So I want you to do services. And what did Phil do? Every year he's made them profits, profits, profits. Phil is driven by profits. He ain't care about us. You know, I've been saying that 
I've been lurking on these sites for the last week and a half, two weeks. Phil is about profits, and he's put all of us old beards in the back mirror. He don't care about us. I hate to say it no more, as like he used to. So what See, he's driven by is going through to the future and getting these whole new kids into Xbox. But I mean, right now, I still play my Xbox. I was on Xbox playing Starfield until I was listening to this. So I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what. You, I, I don't disagree with anything you said. My problem with Phil is execution. Execution with Halo. Execution with Redfall. Execution with Starfield. Execution with whatever. How it comes out. That's my problem with Phil. When get like Crackdown, that's my problem with Phil. That's it. Okay, I so think Phil's a nice four. guy. Three that's games. the thing. I think, I think, I, 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 and I agree with that. I think Phil is too much of a friend instead of a boss. Exactly. Sometimes you have to put exactly. the foot like, yo. You know, but, 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 like y'all don't know him personally, though. It's, well, we don't. I, 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 know, I, know, I know about the results. Like, I know about the results. How, That's what I'm talking about. On. How can the guy be in that position? I don't know. A position of power like he's in, and he this super soft guy. I don't know anybody I in don't know. position that he's I in to be some timid, super soft guy. What was the What was the name of the uh, the group that they made? I forgot the the. Uh, Bro, I'm about to get the fuck out of here. All right, I'm not All right, let me get these super chats, bro. Uh, Chio Walker the five people falling off are soft as hell, that's why they fell off. Tools came out at launch, no meaning no games in active development would be using them. I we know this backstage, uh, behind the scenes that those tools are there, developers are not using them. Yeah, that's that's something. Jason Ronald, I think, actually told before I think Jason Ronald actually told these guys on the dinner they had, like in, in the show. He actually mentioned it like, yo, they're not using it, and they're they're actually trying to find out why not. Yeah, and the, the reason and the reason is PlayStation is the, the lead development, yeah. They develop for the PlayStation and then they port the games to Xbox. They don't even use That's the PlayStation I, tools, they don't even use the PlayStation tools, they use none of them. Yeah, Dan Lazaro with the five Phil was a lower level guy, rose up through the ranks, learned on the job, and and in the end spent a 100 uh bill billion. Put some damn respect on his name. But see, this is one thing, because <laughs> I'm trying to get out of here, but we got to uh, call out Kendrick. He's been specific about three or four games that didn't come out as great as they should have. But then you have games like Force, so you have games like Psychonauts. You have, so, you know, you, you cherry picking. You cherry picking games. You know what I'm saying? Starfield oh, got fine. I don't know what's the problem. I don't know why you're polished as fuck. And hey, all the awards okay. that won. A technical yeah, method be like flight simulator. Flight yes, simulator. Right with. down three was a was a L. Yes, yeah. I in, enjoyed the campaign, but it was L. Yeah, Starfield. I, I, I'm sorry, not Starfield. Redfall dropped. I busters. I busters and I and Halo and Gears Five. So you you cherry I, picking, bro? I, I'm cherry. I, I did cherry pick Halo for one reason because Halo is the only out of all those games you mentioned. Halo was the most important. Did, did, yeah, it, Halo. Did, it, did the launch really go bad though? Like when the baby you, came out, everybody was the that gameplay system. reveal or the launch? The reveal, the reveal, the, yeah. Both, like the, first, both. The, the launch went okay. The launch, the game was okay, but the multiplayer wasn't there like it should have been. What? It didn't get supported like it should have been. Did you play the beta, was, man? What are we doing here? All right, dirt man, have a good. No, one. no, I'm not talking about the gameplay. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> Does anybody think that the that the multiplayer for Halo got updated and was and it, it was supported so like content? So you talking about content? Just the whole package. No, the whole package of was, Halo. It, okay, it, it was missing. How did Halo come out before, based on how it came out on Series X? It was missing like co op. Uh, it was a lot of content. Of, yeah. A lot of content. Period. Yeah, it was that missing. stuff matters. That stuff matters when you're watching the console. But, but 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 the game itself, you know, it played well. It was good. That was, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a Halo guy. That was the, no, that was my second Halo game I finished. I like Halo 5. No, 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 we can't have this argument. I'm done. <laughs> this is the second Halo. Oh, All right, no, 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 let's no, go, no, man. No, I'm, I'm not a Halo guy. I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a big first person to do it, man. I'm not a big first person to do it, man. Next week, we have this conversation. But am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I got to get out of here. I'm hungry, man. Am I wrong, though? Black Mamba with the two. Somebody say I'm wrong. You're wrong. No, Come on. Dude, wrong. I'm wrong about Halo. Halo came out in perfect, and that was a great no, line. No, no, it was it was it didn't come out at launch. Nobody perfect. said it was perfect, though. Nobody said it was perfect. Was it? The Black Mamba with the two. Uh, publisher of the year, 2021, and 10-plus games in 2023. Mm. 
Yeah. Out that shit, Mumble. Uh, Raw I agree. Rebel. Hey, I'm with it. I was oh, playing all those games. Let me get these super chats, brothers. You got to get out of here. Raw Rebel with the two. Don Matthew was the reason Xbox had no first party. Listen, he invested a lot in third party exclusives. As great as Xbox One launch was, most of those games were third party exclusives. They would never got sequels. He, hey, did, I'm he, did, he did not invest in first party at all. Hey, Sony do it and it was it was working for them. Well, what they doing now? But they did No, not now. Now it ain't working. It's, it ain't working well, for PS2 nobody. Generation? Yeah, PS4. PS4. PS4? Yeah. That now I guess I, I like I said, I give Don I give Phil a pass because maybe I had the money. Right? But I'm just saying, I think all I'm saying is this. Let's let's make a line and saying say going forward, Phil. The stuff he do is on him, man. Let's stop blaming Xbox One. That's all I'm saying. Blame like hell. He got he he no one made up for Xbox One. I, I, hey, 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 did you see the, the title of this this podcast? Phil Spencer is not perfect, but hey, he did save go. the Xbox One. Right, so you nobody do. said all right. nobody's saying Phil doesn't need to be criticized, bro. Nobody's saying that. Yeah, but like it just seemed like whenever I hear people talk about Phil, they always they we, never we, give him hundred percent of the money. Nah. So let, and let me get this. KT the gold member for two months. Xbox number one in revenue. The F is this man saying, bro. If you hate Phil, it's cool, but don't make up some BS about people blaming Don for now. The the, the super chat. If, if, if I don't know what it is, if somebody go back. The super chat right before mine was like, Don is the reason why all this stuff's bad. That was my whole point of my super chat. I, it was just in the super chat. Now I ain't well, saying everybody. I'm just saying when I did my super chat, it was right after somebody else who said it ain't feel far. It's basically dominance. All right. Um, Lonely the Black Mom with the two. If I'll give you Redfall and Halo, but Starfield, Starfield, nah, Starfield dropped pretty good, man. He's just, um, you know, yeah, I agree with Black Mama. Like, I mean, it should have had maps in it, though, man. It should have had maps. It should have had maps. What you it's about little things. Yeah, yeah, it should have had maps in there. It should like, have had yeah, maps. It's little stuff that 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 could have made. What you mean, it maps? Got maps, like for instance, if you're in a, if you're in a city and you want to go to this mall or wherever this store, you 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 can't look up on the map to say go over there when it launch. I haven't played it in you a while, so I don't know that. Yeah, what? I don't recall that. They didn't have maps. Yeah, they had maps. So, like when you when you play when you're inside this, like if you're inside a a hub area and you want to go to. Uh, I don't know wherever you want to go. You can't just pull up a map and just walk where you want to go and set a waypoint to where you want to go by looking at the map. Y'all know, y'all did not be so good. I think it did have a way you're talking about, bro. All right, man, let's go. I'm about to go. Uh, right, right, right. right. <laughs> Halo was developed when they have five studios, bro. Yeah, uh. Game trailers and say, Where you find these people, dirt? No, I mean, you <laughs> he, he gotta listen to the show, man. He just got his own opinion, but you know, all right, y'all, we gotta get out of here. I feel, I feel like it's my, that's my new console. Yeah. I gotta go, bro. I gotta all right, go, I'll see y'all. Right. Right. Take care. Two all hours right. and 20 minutes. What kind of shit? I don't do shit like this. All right, y'all, we out, man. All right. <laughs> see y'all later, bro. Peace <laughs> out. <laughs> what is this, bro? All right, can you start to make this? Let's be on the show another 45 minutes. What the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Peace out, man, bro.